Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are finally here. We've had a bit of a slow start. The, uh, the, the new bloke they employed here was a bit slow getting everything organised, but uh, we're off and running shortly. Uh, Premier League Queensland 2024 finals uh, brought to you, of course, by our sponsor, Lawn Bowls to You, uh, Paradise Point Bowls Club, Smith & Co Realty, and, of course, the uh, Club Musgrave. So, Welcome to everyone. Uh, welcome to my good mates. We, uh, we counterpart, Dojo. How you doing, buddy? Good, buddy. How are you? Yeah, you're going good. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited. I can't wait for this weekend, and it's going to be a great weekend of bowls. Yeah, so we've, um, we're getting some uh, music outside organised. So they have started the game, which I think uh, we're going to cross to very shortly, and here we are off and running. So on our live stream match, we've got uh, Gary Kelly taking on... Glenn Pitsy. Pitts, so it's going to be a cracking game for us on the uh, on the live stream, but it's going to be a cracking weekend. Yeah, mate, can't wait. It's going to be a cracker. This, this is an elimination game between Tweet Heads and uh, El Jester All Stars. So, uh, whoever loses this game is gone, <laughs> and uh, whoever wins is um, going through to play uh, tonight against the loser of uh, yeah, Burley and Broadbeach. Yep, yeah, they're over there on rinks 12, 13, and fourteen. So we'll. Try and keep a bit of an eye on everyone update on what's going on over there. We might have to find a couple of runners, but uh, yes, this is going to be a cracking match. This is, like I said, the elimination. So whoever loses out, so they're, they're both teams are playing for everything here. And and uh, obviously it's Al Jess's first appearance in the finals for them since they've uh, they've joined Premier League. So it's great to see. So Gary Kelly just push this one a bit wide. This is the first end. Yeah, so we missed the first few bowls. So... Uh, I'm assuming uh, Al just is holding at least one there. Pitsy cools the cucumber, just wants strutting down to play his ball. Expecting a big game from him today. He's been uh, going really well, and we all know how good a player he is. And it's big match up. sort of, uh, yeah, it's not a bad draw really, Pitsy and, and Gary. So we should be in for a cracker. Oh, he's just trying to draw a shot on his back end, I'd say. Looking close. He's going to hold that line. A little bit runny. Uh, fair attempt. Not a bad spot. He's two down. So Gary Kelly is too light. So they... A uh, couple back there. Looks like just a similar sort of shot that's arriving up here on his back end. I would assume the duo bowls are L, uh, tweeds. So he it's looks a lot closer. closer. This time. He's got the jack. Jack in the belly. Oh, oh. Yep. I think that's an owl just yep. bowl no. back there. Red one. I think that'll be one to one to owl just there. Pitts has got a bit of room there to, to draw the shot and whatever follows. Oh, no, there's another bowl oh, in the corner. There, there we go. There we so go. that gives us a better look. I reckon it's one to Burley. That's a tweed. Yeah, <laughs> just in the is. corner there. there. It is. So we've got a bit of room. We've got about five and a half feet, which, as we all know, sometimes they're the harder ones. <laughs> <laughs> More room you have, the harder it is. Is that the is that the same? Especially on the first end when you're still yeah, you know, getting into the game, trying to find your rhythm. Oh. Here we go. He's played, played it pretty, pretty well. well. That's, that's the boss. Nice. Uh, that'll that'll just fire him up early too. So he'll like that. Get a little bit of dubious weather out there, mate. A little bit of cloud cover and a bit of wind, which should. Uh, Add a couple of elements to the game, but yeah. I don't think we're going to get too much rain. We might get a couple of scattered showers. Uh, I think that was one to Al Jester, I think. I think he was down, then he's drawn the shot. Clouds are pretty high, so I don't think we're going to get maybe a couple of showers at best, but we should be pretty right. Yeah, so Al Jester getting the jack down there, so on a longer end here. And that's a preconceived plan, or... Off the bat, we'll see. All right, so we've got uh, Billy Mitalinios <laughs> leading up for us. Mitalinios. The, the Greek god. Lot, yeah, it took me a lot of time to practice that name to pronounce it right. Oh, I'm still, I still have trouble. And uh, you see he's got Trent Bremer following him, Matt Norrie and Glenn Pitts. And then Gary Kelly's ring, we've got Sam Barkley, Chloe Stewart, Adam McEwen, and of course Gary Kelly. So Yes, two good rinks there. We we had the uh, we played Gary's rink when we played them through the regular season there. It's a, it's a solid rink. We had a good battle here and they played on this rink, so whether that gives them that slight advantage today or not, we'll see. But handy start ooh, from Sammy. Played it well. 
Yeah, I spoke to Billy before the game, actually, and he was a bit nervous coming into this one, but uh, he's been around the game long enough to settle in quite nicely, give him yeah, a couple yeah. of ends. It's pretty pretty fair yeah, he's here. Corrected well here, he's giving it a chance. Even if he slides through, that's not a bad, not a bad effort. Uh, James Darrenpool, hi boys from Rainy Charleville, and our good mate Joshua Joshy. Beatty. Always oh, good for a comment. Good on you, Joshy. Not getting a shout out there, Joshy, mate. No worries, buddy. All good. <laughs> I remember that. Bakes and Robbie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, flicked you, Dave. I didn't even notice that. Oh, it just uh, turned up Billy's first bowl, so puts that in a better spot. So, not a bad head, do you? Nice full draw on his forehand. A little bit of room there. Even if he slides past someone near that dot, it's always handy, too. So, a good line hasn't, in. He hasn't given himself a chance. Don't think he's up. Sort of hard with these. We got wearing these pretty fancy headphones and microphones, and Robbie keeps saying a few things. I can't understand a word he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying that he's blowing up about something over. Yeah, hey, I think uh, I think Tweed finished fourth, and Al just finished fifth. So Tweed should be on the left hand side of the board, but they've put it the other way around. Yeah, the school might have yeah. to. If anyone's watching and is at the club, just uh, pop in and see us in the bowls office, please, so you know, we can just get you to go swap their uh, their scoreboards around, but. I so said with this bowls link and the new systems we're using, there was always a few teething issues which we're learning on and how we can uh, how we can run things a bit better the following year. It's not a bad spot for that ball from Trent. Probably right. gets the spot. Yeah, anything back there any of that spot's good, isn't it? Chloe's playing a tight line. I think she's it's up better either. Than the old, yeah, it's better than the alternative. Just left that one behind a bit. Tricky. It's always tricky out there, that forehand coming back, because it's probably the slightly slowest hand, um, but you get a bit of bend there, so. So, yeah, it's a tricky one. It always catches a few out. Get, obviously, finals a bit nervous, so a couple yeah, of innings. early days. Boys, will be, boys only, and girls will be getting uh, a bit better. Only played one in. All righty, here we go. In a fair area. Look down at his weight now. If he's got good weight, he'll get back. He looks all right. He's got good weight, he'll get back. He looks real good. Played it well. It's, slide through. it's got a bit of finish to it out there. Yeah. With the greens, without we've had a little bit of rain, well, mostly at night times, but during the day has been pretty good. Only like today's overcast, but if it hadn't had any rain, the greens would have been nice and slick, so it means they, um, they should still have a bit of finish out there. Oh, well, the green keeper was working hard today, mate. He was rolling the green for uh, does a great job, very mate. long time. Yep. Yeah, he's put a lot of work into this weekend. And, it, um, yeah, we're expecting, he likes to a little disappointed with the rain. It just took a bit of the shine off of them, but there should still be, should still be greens conducive of a good game, so. Uh, Jake, uh, mate, Helensville made the finals in the reserve grade. They are playing on, and uh, in the game, in the elimination final in the reserve grade, but their top side did not make the finals. Oh, Saskatchewan in Canada, <laughs> Owen. Sus Great part of the world, mate. Hope you're enjoying it over there. Nice. Good on you, Owen. All right, a bit of weight here on the back end. Got a couple of seconds. Right. Get the bulk need or jack. Canada oh, he got a neat. Great shot. At least two, we think. Yeah, be close to three looking out the window yeah, there. Yeah. Cameras can be a bit deceiving sometimes. We've got a good little view when they're coming this way. We're we're in the uh, the new newly furbished bowls office at, here at Club Musgrave. It's, it's a great spot. Not left, yeah, the left that behind. It's catching a few out that forehand early. It did sort of finish in a spot that might might deter him away from a little backhand reacher, but the backhand always a bit tighter coming back this way. Who you got in this game, Bakes? Uh, well, I think on the on the on our bowl show on Thursday night, I think I back Tweed. I think Tweed are gonna um, uh, gonna have a good final series and make their way through the the big dance, the GF. So to do that, they need to win this one, obviously, because this is our <laughs> elimination final. But um, yeah, they're certainly not uh, in for an easy ride here. I don't think they'll just as like I said, first finals appearance, but they've certainly earned it this year. They I think they won five or six on the trot. Maybe seven, even. Um, Massive yeah. run in. Yeah, it was huge. 
So they they're certainly all playing well and uh, well yeah. So they're um yeah it's going to be interesting. Well, I backed Tweed to make to win it this year, so uh, I had to go for them. But I think I said on the show that it might be only a handful of shots in it come the end of this one. So settle in and uh, watch some amazing bowls from these superstars, especially this guy. Is that in a fair area? <coughs> oh, wait now. But yeah, he needs to, to hurry, hurry that line. Hurry that line. Hurry. Give me, give me what a shot, in. GK. Right. Oh. What a shot. Yep. That's the boss. About a foot short of the jack just off the centre line. So probably got a chance to land him there or sort of get through his own front one. So I imagine we'll see a little bit of weight here on his forehand. Give it a good good chance. A couple behind the jack. Alrighty, well, he's, he's out on a decent line, so he wouldn't have too much weight on it without track doing anything. He looks pretty good. Yeah, he's no, he's he's not. He's going to cut. Probably, probably underplayed it a bit there. I think he, yeah. I don't think he's going to, even if he got to the bowl with that speed, unless he got it on the jack possibly, but I guess that's probably why he's out there and we're in here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> probably <laughs> needed good weight control. <laughs> probably needed a ditch weight there. I, it looks yeah. like it, but again, until you're out there, it's always different. How much drops are you going to get here? Get him a, oh, he's whooshing it up there. He's it looks into, good. He's played shot. it well. He's better than the first. Two goodies yep. from GK. The world the, champion. Yep. Asserting his uh, spot in the game. Two to out. Two to Tweed there. Yep. Two great shots. <laughs> two biggies. A really tight rink next door as well on Corey and Corey's rink. Looks like they might have picked a couple up there. Right, it's weird bringing the mat up a little bit. Just on a shorter length. They're obviously going in with a bit of a plan here because they, I think they started on this sort of length with the mat, so. Yeah, well, they're sort of backing themselves in here. You know. It just gives Gary that sort of option to run a little bit better. Wow, yeah, he's so. such a... Yeah, he's very accurate with his runners, so getting that jack nice and short, chance to pot it if they're in a bit of trouble or bash them out of trouble. Oh, it slides past there, a bit tight. Back in, yeah, you've got to be out there. It's it's quite a bendy hand. This looks like a better line from the Greek god. A bit pacey. He's running through, but not too bit. far off. It's a, always a good start. You'd be happy with that. Yep. It's nice, always nicer to correct off of a bit of a long ball than it is a short one. Yeah, it's a lead. I think that far pass is generally better than sort of that foot and a half short. It's just, uh, I think it's yeah in the game a bit more, but there's a bit of overcorrection here, I think. Just pushed her out there, still sliding past, but they're always good past the jack. Billy's first ball is nearly finished, spang, spot on the dot there, so. I'll back him to correct for you Yeah, if you lose two feet here, he's out of... Done his job. Probably trying to play the same ball, and just hopefully you've taken a little yeah, bit off. But he's no double correction as well. It is tricky out there. Yeah. All players finding their feet early. All right, so Chloe coming down this four, and he's a bit tighter out there. Yeah, there's the drift. It's, it's a tricky <laughs> hand that one. Help visit <laughs> his hand. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> Yeah, uh, she'll correct off the next one though. Yeah, she'll. She's played a lot of Easter singles here, mate. She knows the way yeah. around the screen. <laughs> Chloe. Well, that's looking to be closer to the line because if you have good weight, you will get that little bit of bend. Um, but yeah, it's just that early drift and weight's the key. It's it's good it's enough. Yeah, fair start. Nice bowl. They're a very young side, this Al Jester team, don't they? So, a lot of younger players in it, juniors and around that uh, early 20s. So, they can keep your squad together for a few years. It's going to be... Um, She's elderly. humming, but she might pick it up here. Uh, okay. that There's still one Al Jester looking at the camera, but... Got the line pretty fair then, Chloe, but just overcooked it. Hi, Carla. Good to see you watching from yeah, North Carla. Queensland. If your horses going are going too. good. Nice. Yeah, nice. They're loading this dot up here. They might have a plan on. Mm -hmm. 
And when they bring the man up, let's get that dot covered. Uh, how much downage has he got here? It's just humming. Yeah, there's that four end again, but it's just his speed there. All right, so it's uh, Matthew Norrie coming down. Third for Glenn Pitts. He's got a bit of room there to draw a shot. And smack, working something smack bang on top of it would be perfect right now. It's good as it... This is uh, All-Star's first appearance in the finals too, just on a little side note there. So it's good to see him up in the finals. Uh, they had a pretty... Though I think they were last coming in after the third or fourth round of the season and then uh, they've gone on a huge there. That's, that's the boss. Yeah, Shot. like so we, we had that, that good good uh, run of a flight. Like six or seven games or something, so... It's, um, this is humming and going to sail through. It's going to go all the way... Generally, generally to make the five, that it's around that six games you need a win in the season. Well, this year it was seven. Yeah, that's yeah. It. so it's an odd, odd little, and yeah. that, but that sort of showed. I think fifth was two wins clear of yeah the uh, the teams behind them. So, but usually, good. like they say, that's around that six is is enough. But um, and yeah, they did it all in one hit. Oh, well, they had a, had a few losses, and then actually they, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was, is it six or it could even be seven? We'll have to find that out. Anyhow, just uh, people out there are tuning in, let us know. GK's finding himself in a bit of trouble again here, so. Yeah, and it's an ugly head too. Mm. The dot's ugly. Um, you know, but he has got a bit of room. He's shown how good a draw player he is, but looks like he might be trying to slide under Billy at the front there on his back end. Nice full draw down there. They might have a couple just past it. Sit bowl, touch jack. Mm. I think Adam likes doesn't like the forehand. He's, he slices it on his forehand. He's into a strife. Oh yeah, so he's shaping up on his backhand here. So if he's got good weight, that blue won't shouldn't bother him. So he's looking to be a fair line. Is he running? He I looks alright. Up she gets. He looks alright. Yeah, he's just lacking that fraction. It's going to save a yeah, lot, though. It might only be one. Helping. Certainly helping. So with oh, he only just got under that ball, too. So uh, I don't know if he can get enough, unless he plays a little bit bigger next time. Yeah, well, I, I think he's the, the biggest trouble is that dot, because Billy's bowl right is smacking yeah. where the dot is. So um, yeah. Because um, even if he halves his front um, one, he can kill it. If he, Even if he just pulls it, he can get the jack and kill it. Like it's... A but ball inside that line on the on the forehand might be the go. Just a dead draw. On yeah, that he's got room. Isn't it? Like this line here looks if pretty fair. No, nah, it should be too tight. If he's looks like I think he was looking for the trail there, give himself a chance. Just just pulled it, like we all do on the the tight hand. Sometimes you just overplay it. Yeah, he yeah. definitely knows the danger here. He's. I think he's just got to draw the shot. Yeah, I think he likes just another one in the head, like just a get shot or maybe one. It looks like only one now with his first one. Just don't know where that back back one behind the maroon one set of sitting in regards to the front on the angles. Yeah. And I suppose that probably the, the only real danger, if he does draw the shot and sit right next to the jacket, gives Pitts here good opportunity with his last to sort of land the bowl or get that bit of movement off it off for the jack so so he's staying on his back hand I think by the look of it yep and he's got a decent line if he just added that foot or so yeah. he's any close here he has definitely added the foot yeah he's probably overplayed it a fraction Making chances sure here up. yeah chances here for Pitsy mm. gets a little touch on that jack he is in Looking at five. Yeah, at he least. wants he want well he wants the angle. I don't think jack down the line is great for him. I think if he can actually get the jack down the line and, and slice it for one or two down, but if he yeah if he gets that jack moving back towards the tee or back towards yeah. the centre line, it's um it's happy days. Keep that speed. It, working off GK's bowl, even just draws another shot. He's wider. 
Like if he's, he's kept that he, weight, he's in he a could chance. be holding two for all we know. So oh, he's just going to hang here. Yeah, he's just pushed her out there. That old four inch is tricky, but you can't die around speed. it here if he's got good speed. Bit of a uh, need of a fall, I think. One. One. All right, let's. Well done. You say there, GK. Yeah. Yeah. There's um. There's sometimes the moments in the game where you've sort of got that opportunity, especially in Premier League, where there's a little opportunity just to drag that jack for a number, and yeah, the you don't realise it early on in games, but you'll think about it later if things don't go your way. That's for sure. Oh yeah, there's Max always, always that one end. Okay, Maxi boy, <laughs> Maxi boy, Pitsy the legend. Oh, nice to see you watching from Dunedin there, Eddie. Let's go to Mr. Captain <laughs> Matty Lucas. Wearing his $12 ringers hat. Nice, <laughs> mate. The old DFO special. No, it was a Harbour Town special. Got one myself, actually. It's a good little hat. Good to see him coming down supporting the Helensville Reggies. Yeah. The captain. Yeah, big smile on his face as always. Beautiful Saturday afternoon at the uh, Club Musgrave, so can't go wrong. All righty, good start here by Sam. Oh, I believe he was, uh, needs a touch of both here. Bit of line, bit of weight, and he's uh, not going to be far away. See how he corrects. Love seeing come viewers. Come out hand, nice. Love seeing the viewers from all over the world coming in here yeah, watching the Premier League. Yeah, fantastic. Tell us where you're from. Eddie. Give us a Dunedin. shout out. Good to see the Waz got up last night. It was helping my multi. Yeah. He was cutting the line there a little, Billy. He's not quite trusting chucking it out, but he's correcting his weight well. He's dropped his first short a few times, but he corrected well. So if he finds that range with the first one, he could be burning later on. But here comes Sam again. A little bit wider, but if he's got good weight, he's in the game here. Yep, nothing wrong with that. Good shots. Don't know if that uh, GK pit scores right there, Robbie. I think it's um, I think GK drew two on the second end. Yeah. Yeah, it should be um, should be two three to to Tweed. Hmm? A two all off. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, two, yeah, all, two yeah. all. Oh, what a shot there! Great shot, Trent O. Trent Bremer. Making Pitsy's bowl look really good now. I'm sorry, not Pitsy. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's. Billy's. <laughs> You're right, mate. Yeah. yeah. No, no, all good, mate. All good. <laughs> You called him Burley before, so... Yeah, <laughs> that started, yeah. <laughs> You thought I missed that, yeah, didn't you? No, yeah. no. All righty, Chloe's looking good here. She needs to hurry that line, though. She's, yeah. Not far off. Touch of both, and she's close. But fair attempt. Good start up. Colin Hotgar says, Good day, boys. Getting some tips in for our grand final in Bunbury today. So good work. Uh, two good shots there from Trent. Great weight again. Yeah, mm. he's going to the old backhand here. A little bit of work off for a first bowl or get back to the shot bowl. Looks like he's giving her the choice. Uh, Just missing that front one is actually going to get a result, I think. Yeah, like I said, it is like the forehand going the other way. It is quite tight down there, but if you've got good weight, you will get the bend, so... I think just making sure she gives herself a chance to start. And she looks on a fair line. Oh, just humming just a bit. A gap here. Just going. But she gave it a chance. Yep. She's in the game back there. Kicks That's not the hurting. Good to see the Irish friend now doing the old goal kick and then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Here we go. So Matthew Norrie. I wonder if she's going to stick with that forehand. You know, wide's good. Get to that second shot. Turn it, you know, turn it a bit, fall off it, fly through the hole. I think you don't want to be fattening too much up or he's just, just getting back. He's mm, pushed it out there a bit. don't think he's got the run there. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I think he was on the draw then. He just pushed it wide. Yeah, he did have beautiful draw yeah. weight. You know, I love watching Bakes' is um. Obviously, we're in the comm box here, but you see people walking past the glass and they think there's cameras here, so they try and duck under. Like. Yeah. 
This is a fair line. Yeah. I like yes, this. He's played, he's played, he's this, played this well. well. Oh, yeah, one, one out. out. At least, obviously, a better. He finished a good uh, spot there, so that that opens up a nice forehand draw for him. Open hand, yeah. yeah it's, that wide hand. Yes, yeah, it's, it's. I think it's the kind of hand that um, you know it's going to bend there if you've got good weight. It rewards it. So he's, he's, he's pushes. still out there. The last one came back a long way, but it looks a little shy this time. Mm. Nice little channel there now, I think, for the must, tweed. Yeah, it must look nice. I said, I think, yeah, I think rather than, yeah, tempting fate on getting back to the jack on your backhand, I think that forehand is much safer. Alrighty. Yeah, he's pulled that tiger, get a bit of club. Well, that helps. <laughs> it's got him second shot there. Um, yeah, he's got a, got, a, got a little reward there, so that happens. Anyone that says they've never got one's a liar. But um, that, does that open up something here for for Pitts? He maybe give himself a chance to land that bowl. He can make a two or three out of it. I can imagine he'll, he'll at least be on that backhand. I don't think he'll be. I don't think he'd be drawing his forehand. He wouldn't want to touch that jack on his forehand, so just draw the shot down there in the backhand, maybe. No, he's lining up. He's going out there on the forehand, so he's... <laughs> oh, no. His feet pointing the... He's on his backhand. <laughs> he got me all confused there. Pitsy. A couple of comments we missed earlier. G'day all from Glenwood, from uh, Pot Old Pete. Mm, and uh, I like that name, Pot Old Pete. And uh, <laughs> uh, Russell Hubbard watching from Thursday Island. Uh, thanks for the coverage. Um, go Matt Norrie, absolute star. Uh, Evelyn, yeah, mate, we'll, we'll get the scores from the Bulls and Burley game shortly. So they've just started over there, so it's not too much to report at the moment, but we'll get them in when we can. Uh, Lance says, go the Stars, and Craig Floyd, Trent is Pitsy's stepson, boys. There we go, look at that. Bit of info, bit there of knowledge. Go. Oh, Trento. Alrighty, uh, Gary Cop says, go the Stars. So he's tuning in. You, you might be able to tell us, Gary, uh, how many uh, games they've won on the trot to... Make their way into the finals. We can't decide whether it's six or seven. But uh, yes, they're in a they tight battle. I think they won their seven, but they dropped the game yeah, by one uh, shot, oh, like yeah. mid-season, like in in between those wins. Like that's my that's my goal. Wait here, he's giving this one yeah, a good chance. Humming. Just humming, the f looking for the ball. Down. Down for it. What a shot! Got the two. That brings a back one into play, or so Chloe might be holding shot now. Oh, Chloe's definitely got shot. I imagine the L just a bowl just next to it is second shot, but again, the cameras can be a bit deceiving sometimes. But yeah, looking out our window, it's in by quite comfortably. Like well, we got uh, 2 2 2 2 2 2 and 3 yeah. 3 3 and 6 6. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if we saw that the whole way? All square <laughs> the whole game. Well, I did, I did call there's going to be a handful <laughs> of shots in it. Pitts handful looks close. Yeah, he's he looks. Easy to get down the it now. No, it's just sliding through. Yeah, so it's nice, tricky hand, nice. yep. That's what you want, though. Good effort, good speed. Land the ball, trail the jack. Give yourself a chance. Yeah, this is a little a little front touch here. You make, make three or four. If he gets to the, does that get to that wide split, he might uh, just roll that L just to bowl out and bring the back one in. So he's got a couple of chances here. So nice full draw. Give himself a full chance. Vardzi. Yeah, is he's he out there. If someone knows Vardzi, no. One shot lost to the Bulls. Yes. Yeah, he just poked her out there. Beautiful weight. He might back backdoor this. Oh, it needs Lays to fall. Down. Don't know. It needs to fall, I think. I reckon he's in. Yeah, the... No, nah, he's not. <laughs> 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 not if they're picking it up that quick. <laughs> one shot to Tweed there. Yep, one. Yeah, the crowd's starting to roll in too. Plenty of people here, a bit of atmosphere. Be actually, we might have made a mistake agreeing to come in here. We could be out there having a good time, but... <laughs> um, I can tell you that... Robbie, Robbie's probably singing the same thing, actually. Yeah. Oh, geez, I wish yeah. I'd stayed in outside. Yeah. <laughs> I think old Brian's having a good time out there. Yeah, but, um, well, Brian might have to 
We'll have to make sure we don't need any soft drinks or something. Yeah. Maybe. A lot of talking. Got to keep them busy somehow. Um, <laughs> I can tell you the Reggie's, um, the Helensville Algest, uh, sorry, Helensville Inogra game is um, yeah, oh, be busy. Of, there'll it's be plenty busy. of filling in that. That corner down there is packed. It is packed. Down there, there'll be plenty of filling in that one. The Inogra are always a strong, very strong in their re reserve grade and uh, Helensville obviously um, it's not a troublesome season for the club because most of us have those sorts of seasons but for, for the Hel Helensville standards a uh, bit of a tough year from obviously missing out in the top side and not just uh, sneaking in in the Reggies so Well we're talking about I think on the show on Thursday night I think it was like 16 years or something since they've missed the uh, final okay, of Premier yeah. League uh, for top side so uh, yeah. uh, Looking out there at their reserve they've got plenty of good players in there got Looking over there at the moment, we've got Matty Bell, Mark great, Thatcher and Michael Sorensen all sitting together. Great start there from the Greek god. <laughs> Bang. Great shot, Billy. All righty, Sam wasn't first up, far off with his first one, so just looking to beat that here. If he can still draw the shot, there's a bit of room there. If he just needs to run. Yeah, and he has Dropping that second one short a little bit. Not far off, though. Yeah, That's good tracking. Billy just doesn't need to change much. Maybe add two feet just to get yeah. that one behind and sneak yeah. it through. Beat that, beat that back when he's... A little bit wider. Yeah, if he's running, he's good. As long as he's up, he can't yeah, be bad. Yeah, he just needs to hurry. Just has to be up. Oh, Billy. Now that with your first, got to get the second up, buddy. <laughs> Lead 101, Billy. What are you doing? Yeah, come on, mate. Sean Thompson, well done, lads, for the season. Hope you get out there for a game one year, and the Pelicans would love to have you, mate. <laughs> if you're serious about that, we'd love to have a chat to you. That'd be awesome. Certainly, uh, yeah, you look good in Pelican blue, mate. I think the Pelicans have got 40 on the books already, mate. So, uh... <laughs> well, there's been a few changes Ooh. lately. Great effort, Chloe. Very nice home, too. Good speed. It's not quite getting down for on that forehand. Here comes the young fella, young Trent. Dies around hard around that. He's played yeah, a good shot yeah, here. I like this. Played it well. Now just down. Ducking in good yeah, spot there. Just a fraction and far, but well, certainly not. He's got the best back. And yeah, uh, it's yeah. certainly. It's all right. In terms of, yeah, if he, he obviously beats that Twee Bowl, he's got second and something a bit past the Jack, but that, that's <coughs> the next best. Got to say, mate, if you're in the Gold Coast area, get down to the old Club Muzzy and. Um, oh, music's going. We've got a sausage sizzle. Yeah. Happy hour prices. Yep. Like I said, we made a... Six dollar skewies. We made a se severe mistake Good coming in here. Good shot here. Chloe. Chloe. Stares it down. Shot. Brilliant. Great, great shot. Great ball. Not an easy shot there on that forehand. Corrected it perfectly. Colin Litfin has got a bit of a jump over there on the other ring too. We must have picked up a number or three. So 5-2 to, to Colin uh, against Peter Taylor. And Nick and uh, Corey... Still two all, so Nick's just about to let one go. So he's obviously down. Uh, handy effort there. If Jack squeezes, that could could finish in a pretty good spot out there. He had great weight. Just pushed it wide, trying to make sure he missed that front ball. So yeah, beautiful shot there by Chloe. Sort of tucked in behind it nicely too. I thought for a second he was going to finish at a Jack High, and she's always a. You know, you play a great bowl and you unfortunately sit right beside it. You you know at this level it doesn't usually last too long, so. Tell you what, if it wasn't the world champion, I'd be yelling out the window, yeah. get your ass out of the way there, GK. <laughs> there we go. Oh, now, pissies. <laughs> 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 Having a competition out there, I think. to play here. I mm. think he, I don't think there's anything around that front bowl for him. I think he I think he give himself a chance to his own bowl, but swear that's Jack's gonna go when he works off it. You know, pushes it you know, just out uh a little bit past that and two bowls behind he couldn't find himself three down, so But changes so might, it. Might play it a bit more. You know, if he plays it firm here, if he misses it wide he gets them two tweed bowls out, it changes <coughs> it completely. Mm. I don't think he's getting his own clean without getting a bit of jack movement. No. He'll fall at least sort of dot, dot the ditch weight here, I'd think. But mm. you know, he's just poking her out there. If he 
I suppose he's thinking if he Get beats, to those back two balls. If he beats that twee bowl, it mm. changes it as well. So it looked like he's played it well. But oh. Yeah, it's a tough shot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's made it hard now. Yeah, well, yes and no, it, it does. Gives you a chance to get those two bowls out too, though, like a little bit more of a runner. Yeah, and you you will get back around that with with a bit of speed, but yeah, just I think it brings, like I said, that them three tweed bowls at the back there. If the jack gets past those two, they they're going to be three down. So, but anyway, this is going to change things. He's drawn a great shot well here, done. Adam McKeel. What a bowl! Well, yeah, you can afford just to play as much as you want now to get there, get to that last bowl. Jack will be moving. I'm not, not sure what's going on down at the dot, but I sh think that tweed bolt back we can see is Looks the best right. back. He's played it Looks well. Fair. Great shot here. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> just stuck. Great shot. And back to Got one stiff. down. Got yep. stiff, but back good to shot. one down. Finish in a good spot too. Looks like the jack's yeah. going to be squeezing that way if Pitsy can get to it. So Pitsy just needs to play that same sort of shot as. Um, Adam then and yeah I think we're gonna, yeah I think I like Adam's call there four and just try and try and beat that front oh, sorry, out just the bowl I'm going on fire today you're doing, doing well yeah. matter let's try not to point that out then <laughs> just uh, you know let you get past it you've, you've done it yourself you've done yourself in mate yeah G'day mother North Queensland contingent watching Lovely. Beautiful. All right, yeah, he's lining up on this four. Because even if he gets to the old just a bowl here, I don't think he's only... Anything he's going to do is be turning it more sideways, which will probably Not getting that help back. block it off that little bit. So. He's out there, though. He's on the right side of the line. It's how far is he going to run? Yeah, just push a bit fast. It gives, gives Pitts a little chance here to... You can certainly draw with confidence. You know, that foot or two, and he gets the squeeze on the jack, you can probably make two or three. Not the easiest of shots, but he's got. There's no danger though. He can play it and play it yeah, confidently. Yeah, he's not. Certainly not getting back and getting his own ball out. You wouldn't think. Yeah, back in. He's giving himself a little chance here. He's not in a hurry enough. Putting another one in the spot though. Mm, nice cider. A little correction off the next one. Gary's just pushing out there. He's, he's, trying, he's trying to finish wide of it, but he's he's good. Yeah, he's, he's good. Played yeah. pretty well. Yeah. It gets down. He's still just splitting it. No, still three on here. Still a chance. I think be a, this would be a big one for Pitsy. Well, play this one now, just to just to get him a little jump. Good arc here. Yeah, I don't mind this. Look on, uh, speed. I think he's just pushed yeah, it. Yeah, just a pace. A little tricky one. Yeah. Not an easy shot, that one. One down. He, looks he had to make sure he gave himself a chance. You'd yep. Try and be a bit too cute there and drop short. You'd feel a bit silly, so. One more to Tweed. Puts him up to 4-2 on this rank. Uh, Corey and Nick. It's uh, five something over there, I think. Oh, Shoelace. I'm just here for the commentary. Oh, we'll try and make it a bit more interesting <laughs> for you, mate. Good to hear. Good to see you watching, though, James, Jimmy boy. Good. Yeah. See. Oh, I thought he would have been playing. What? Oh, he might not play until later. Is he in there? He's playing out of pine still, isn't he? I don't know. No, I don't think he is. I haven't no. seen him all season, actually. What are you doing? Yeah, a bit of a break, mate. Yeah. Too busy going to the CMC. Yeah, fair starter from Sam, not too far Woodford, off. Woodford, mate, he's a, he's a Woodford boy. Uh, Jimmy loves his... Uh, I think Timmy Smith just played a monster next door to make three or four there. All righty, Billy, he's got a good track here. If he's running this, he's all over it. Yep. Up you get. Hurry, hurry. Up you get, yep. Very nice. Great God. James so says, you know, boys, he's having a bit of a spell yet. Yeah. We can all relate to that at times, mate. Yep. <laughs> he wears you down slowly, doesn't it, mate? You just stick to your pool nights on Thursday nights at the uh, Woodford Tavern, mate. It's good to see you watching, but hope everything's going good for you, buddy. All right, so over on ring three, oh, nice what do you got? Speed. Nice, Tweedhead nice. six, L just a five. 
That'll be uh, Cohen and Peter Taylor. I'm just got someone's head in the way. I can't really see rink two. <laughs> Seven two to Tweed on rink two. All oh, right, just update it. What do I? Up tails. He just flies under the radar every year, doesn't he? Yeah. Just rocks up here, playing for Tweed every year. Flies under the radar. Great shots, Billy. Two rippers. That's what they needed. He's probably a little unfortunate. Just go that few more inches, get behind the jack, but left Chloe with a decent shot here. She's up, she's on all right. She looks pretty good here, actually. Yeah, she's hurrying. She's hurrying that line. Ooh. Just slow, just like a fraction. Speed was okay. Good home, too. Yep. Yeah, the weight was good enough for it. Big brown dogs just arrived. Wayne, if you're tuned in, the microphones are here. The day of all days, our PA system pooped itself <laughs> this morning, so... <laughs> Got the electrician here hooking up the last of these new lights. A little bit of a stress to make sure he's getting it done on time. We obviously need them this evening, but... Certainly got nothing to do with American honey. <laughs> All righty, that's, uh, yeah, it's just, just changed a few angles there, that last one, turning over Billy's front bowl. So, yeah, I think we'll see a bit more confidence here from Chloe if... Might have to get someone to go pop out there with Gary. Just a couple of times now, That's buddy. Right. There we go. Uh, I think Al just has just picked up a score next door on Nick Gosley's rink. Plenty of noise from him. They needed it. Yeah, Chloe's they just pushed that out there, but might finish uh, two okay. flush. Yeah. Two flush, but not, not a terrible I'm, result. Yeah, gets not one, too bad. Gets one back the <laughs> back past the the head for Al Jester. And yeah. Chance here to draw a nice shot on his back end. Just beats Chloe's wing bowl there and can finish in a not very good spot. Can't even draw a touch of there still. In the air. If you've got good weight, it's yeah, close. It's just a bit Chloe here. Handy, handy. Oh, yep. Good that's weight good. in the area. Yeah, that's nice. Got a nice result, but. Yeah, he's four again, down. rewards good weight. Give it a chance. Yeah, get right through this. I don't think we'll, don't think we'll fluff around too yep. much now. Straight up the line. Get through Gets that the outside half of the front one will be gold. It'll be a nice result, I think. Good, uh, yeah, I like this. Yep, he's gonna change he's something. Good. Oh, Getting back to Chloe. Yes, yeah, that's what's well, a tricky hand. Oh, he's done it well. Yeah, it's put it in an ugly spot. It's going back to the El Jester bowl, and it's the El Jester bowl coming up on that backhand. So, put it in an ugly spot. I think we might see him. No, I'd probably be on my forehand here. I think. And underneath Chloe's wing one around your own light blue one. Draw a touch on your forehand. I don't think he wants to move anything at the front there on his back end, but we'll see. Where do you go your bakes? You wanna if you're a tweed playing this next one, you're gonna go a forehand just through those two. Adam's got one draw. left, I'd be getting my third yeah. Oh, or no. you're gonna play through the back end and try and land Chloe or sit the ball and run in. I'd just yeah, pick a hand and go firm through it, mate. Yeah. Open something up, you can get the the, the two bowls. But in saying that, if he does get Chloe out clean, he's going to be four down. So, well, he's three down already. So, if well, if that front one counts, yeah. like I said, it can be a bit hard with the cameras sometimes. Uh, judging by with Chloe's ball sitting on the line, that one's about a ball in front of the yeah. line. I reckon he's three. It's close to three. Yeah, he well, might. he's only one worse off if they lose Chloe's in at, at most. So. I reckon he plays a metre over here or two metres over. Oh, and punch and run, you reckon? Yeah, punch and run. Oh, you that need looks more different. than a metre if you... Mm, it's given plenty of thought anyway, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what he does. He's walking away. He looks pretty confident in the call. I don't mind your call. A little change, something just to give Gary something to yeah, sort of. There's a few good results there. Like, so even if he gets that wide one of, of Billy's, he's opening up the backhand draw then for so Gary. So even if he gets Chloe flush here, he yeah, he's got an awful lot of weight. Yeah, he's the hurry here. Doesn't want the dark blue. Wants to, yeah, he's going to bend to the tweed bowl, so that's certainly helping. That helps. He's that's one now. Big difference. Yep. Did his job. Yep. Cut it down. 
You're not minding that. Alrighty, so here we go, Matthew Norrie. Chance to just turn Billy's or beat it. Get it back in the count. Probably if he's got good weight, he may even get around the front to, to count. Still, he's got a bit of room down there. Looks to be about two feet, that second shot. Little fair line. This is the whole Speed around now, us. yeah, miss that. Yeah, let's, oh. That gives Tweed something else. Beating the front bowls anyway, so I think Tweed have second and fourth now, so. Mm. I reckon that bowl's cannoning onto the jack. It's not going to change much for them. Uh, well, there's a... There's good two or three inches gap between those two bowls. You can see we're directly side on, so you'd have to get it perfect, but so the angle might be there. You could get the two bowls. Sorry, excuse the delay there. I was just having a red frog. The tweed manager come in and give us a little treat. <laughs> and a blackberry. Mm. I should have grabbed one of those. The red frog was probably a bit chewy. <laughs> He's got plenty on this, but he's pushed her out there. Yeah, that backhand we wait. She's nasty. Mm. Mm, I guess that'll just drop for another one. Interesting. Shaking his head. He's not happy. Got on the other ring, still all pretty tight out there. Didn't see what Nick got before. Oh, so it's seven all next door, Nick and Corey. So he must have got a five. Yeah, big, big score. That's uh, that's huge. Five at any stage is good, but especially when he's getting you back in the uh, in the game early. He's out there. If he's got good weight, he'll get uh, back. But I don't think he's... Yeah, he looks quick. Not a bad spot, though. Depending on what GK's doing next. Yep, stayed up at the back. That'll be the dot. With everything past the jack. There's not a lot of options here. It's good head. Good head here for our jester. Gary's just got to try and draw the shot. I think there's enough... Enough bend there on that back end. Yeah. We'll wait to get back and beat that, that dark purple. blue. Yeah, yeah that build. that's it. There's not much is uh, lining up. We're overly friendly there. Unless he just punched through his own wide wing one. Hope for the best, but I think a player of his calibre, he'll, he'll try and draw this. Let's see, we're about to find out. Lines it up. He's got a good a hold. Yeah, he's what? just arriving a little. Ooh. Wiggle through, what do you know? Turns out just in for another one. Might be three. Now yeah, he's, to the he's, stars. he's hung around a little bit, but if you know gives Pitsy something to draw to now. If Pitsy can get to that bowl, he'll guarantee you the four. Otherwise beat it just to count, so it's minimum two here for Al Jester. Those tweed heads of um Alrighty, here we go. Pitts, he's got a good line. If he's got good weight, he's going to count. Just get it back to GK. Get here, back to GK and it'll guarantee the four, I think. Get down to it, Pitsy. Mm, that yeah, that looks... Are these two? What are these two? Uh, are they all just Three, I think. Three. That one's Billy. And three. Three. Yep. Good score, though. Yep. Five, four now to Al Jester. Keeps him in touch. Tweed have jumped off to a sort of 17-9 lead overall now, but... How yeah, well, a has come through. He was like, he must have picked up a couple of good ends there. All 
Alrighty. A tweeter roll on the jack next door. So Corey's Corey's got a score after dropping the five, which is what you want to do. 21-17, though. Four shots on the big board. Great God, here we go. Chance to nail it again. He's been playing this backhand all right. A few of our minor Premier Pirates are starting to rock up. Brendan Silver Wilson. <laughs> 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 Alrighty, here comes Billy. It's all right there. Might be going a little, but get back to the jack, will he? No. Slides past. Always a good start. Yep. Um, you might have to get uh, Hatch. Yeah, give us. You'd be right for you by yourself for a second, mate. All right, Billy. Hope you keep your speed here, mate. You're on a tight side coming down. Just going to duck under. And he's short. Good arc here. Yeah, it's going to be a fair ball. Yep. Great shot. Alrighty, I'm back. Got someone out there running. You're going to get uh, some scores from the other green. Okay, brother. Organise us both a Coke Zero too, mate. Oh, no, oh, full strength coke, mate. I don't do the old zero. Got to have sugar. Got to have sugar. Yep. I didn't get a red frog, so. <laughs> well, Sam's gnawed it with one of his. Yep, nutted it nicely. He comes a good chance here. Anything dying around that shot bowl is going to be perfect. Yeah, I like this too. Looks good pretty line. good. How's was a run. Hurry, hurry. Yep, yeah, well yeah. done. Yeah, it's going to be a little unlucky. Just opens it up a yeah. bit there, but... Still, they're holding them. But, uh, yeah, it gives, gives Trent a chance here to draw a nice shot. Draw with confidence, sit a bowl, trail the jack. He's giving himself every opportunity. Oh, he's lost. going to be a little unlucky. It's okay, changes things. Yeah, changes his head up, down to one. Forcing um, people to play that sort of... Chloe likes his hand, though. She's been playing it all right since she started. Yeah, she drew a monster down there before, didn't she? Michael Bretherton's given us a little bit of a wrap, mate, saying he's enjoying the call. So yeah, you brother. Yep. When you were off um, getting more red frogs, I mentioned that, mate. All good. Yep. Oh, did you? Oh, well, you <laughs> I, go. I just said g'day to him. Yeah. That's yeah, all good. <laughs> thought you might have said something when I come back. But no, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was actually set, when you sat down, up. I said g'day, brother. <laughs> Good experience for some of these uh, young uh, All Stars players playing in their first final series. And yeah, uh, and like I said, if they they keep this group together, like the core of this group together mm. for a few years, they're going to be. Um, I think you're going to see a lot more of this squad in the coming years. A yeah, yeah. little bit of run there, beautiful track. Just uh, makes it a little tricky for everyone else. So that's in a pretty awkward spot that one, but. There is room. Miss it either side with good weight. Not going to be far off. Preferably around it. So, like we said, it's a so tricky pace, hand, yeah. but if you've got good pace, you'll get the bend. He's, He's played good, this yeah. really well. What a shot. He's played this really hurry, hurry. well. Well done. Yeah, great shot. I think that will make up Pitsy's there. Yeah. And around it. Still room. <laughs> it's fallen over to that tweed bowl, which makes it a little nicer. The good line here again. Yeah, he's definitely up this time. He's just going to slide past. We'll give him another one past the jacks, sort of near the dot. Yeah. Might encourage Pitsy to have a little attack here on his back end. He get the two bowls. or can get the jack. That's how it's looking on our screens anyway. But caliber of play, you'll probably just walk down there and draw it. Mm. Just 
the most. Yeah, I know. I oh, know. There's one coming. Oh. Just uh, just pulled his second one up a little bit there, but doesn't make it any easier for Pitsy. I think I think that'll make Pitsy's mind up a backhand attack here. Must look pretty nice unless that. I like the forehand attack. Forehand. Yeah, just get under the black edge and edge. Yeah. Backhand through the gate though looks yeah, alright. I guess it. Well, it must. Yeah. It's always um, a little bit different the angle you see it from the middle of the rink to... I think the forehand's just holding nicely. If you get anything under that block, you might yeah, be able to yes. get the edge of both. Yeah. But yeah, that forehand through... That backhand through the gate, here, but it looks all right. We'll see what he does. We'll see what he likes. Uh, AJ might have called. I'm never going to hear the end of this now. <laughs> he's out calling. I've said, nothing about, I've said nothing about the tipping call. Thanks, mate. Uh, he's just... He's not playing the way I was expecting him to play. No, he's, he's trying to draw it, was he? Oh, he's opened that's, up something. Oh, it's like, again, it's hard yeah. to tell without. I keep, I keep trying to look around the corner of the screen, but <laughs> not, like I didn't, I didn't mind which hand you played there. I think you just probably should have gone a little bit. All right, so we, we do have some scores from the other green. Uh, in reserve grade, we got Pine and Burley. Uh, on uh, we've got four five on one ring. We've got eight seven on another. 3-7 on another and 5 all. So it looks like it's a pretty tight game over there. Um, with Pine just behind. Um, and then on in the, the Premier grade, we've got uh, Broadbitch and Burley. Aaron Tees is up. I uh, believe he's playing Dale McWinnie. He's, he's up 14-6. Uh, Omar's up 8-4. And Besser is down 3 9. So, another tight battle over there, but Brawl Beach uh, on top at the moment. Uh, 22 25. 25 19. 25 19. Yeah. Six shot lead to Brawl Beach. Marianne, if you're yeah, listening. Pine down 20 to 24 over Burley. So. In the Reggies. In the Reggies. No ends, no. I'll, uh, I'll make sure I get up our general manager, Wayne, there. It's He's got one job. You've got one job, yeah. buddy. What's, what's going on? But uh. Everything else is taking care of itself <laughs> for the weekend. He's got one job to do. Nah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mate, you wouldn't believe the amount of work that guy does. It's been very uh, very impressive. Nah, he's awesome. Since starting here. He's, he's awesome. There's not much he doesn't do. Oh, Pitsy's just left this one very yeah. short. What are they holding? They're holding, looks like they're holding three. Yeah. GK just needs to slide under Pitsy's bowl here and just sort of have a good speed, like yep. yeah. extra foot it on his last. Yeah. Without, just draw to him without turning anything, but started it pretty like well. A nice line. He's chasing it. Yeah. Usually when he chases it, he's close, but he, what's his speed well, he's like? Humming. He's humming. He needs to get down. Oh, humming. he's played it well. Humming. Well, you played it well. Yeah, well, mate. Someone get this man played a picture of him. <laughs> GK, three or four there. Yep. Don't know what it was. In the Bounce end. Three, three. Threes. Three. Drop a three, get a three is yeah. always nice. That's happy. All right, and what's going on in these other rinks over here? So we can get some scores for Robbie. So we've got uh, on rink two, we've got a Tweed Heads 11 uh, against seven. And on rink, th rink three is ten to seven to Tweed as well. So Tweed just starting to pull away a little bit. Yeah, so rink two's uh, uh, I think they've just changed it to eleven, eleven nine after eight on rink two. Yeah, and ten seven on seven on rink three. So yeah. Not much in it. They haven't pulled away as much as I thought there. I think they got a couple of scores, but no, Algis is certainly staying well and truly in this one. Not a bad start there again by Sam. Probably a foot or so short. Billy sticks to his forehand, pokes it out there. If he's got good ways, he's not going to be far off here. Slide through, that's not hurting either, so better than the alternative. Well, he can Sam correct. He's just looking for a, a foot or two here. Turn his own bit. A couple of nice chances for him. Looks to be a fair line. He's 
So it's just ducking under great weight in the game. Not far, not far off there. How can Billy correct? Yeah, it's a nice area, Bill. What's his speed like? He was sliding through a lot with his first one. How much has he lost? Not quite enough, but in the game, certainly not hurting there. All right, here comes Chloe lining up on her forehand. Beautiful delivery. Lacking a little speed, I think. Great track. It's going to make this forehand a little trickier for him now. So we might, uh, yeah, I see young Trent playing his backhand. Open draw. It's a tricky hand, but rewards good weight. So yeah, he's just pushed that one out there. It's oh, might be setting the trap early here, Al Jester. <laughs> <laughs> and everything past the jack. Which, you know, if you're going to miss, generally the best spot to miss too. There's the hurry, yeah, this one. She's, Come she's on. corrected. She's played this one better. Hurry past the blue now. She had a great weight to get on top of that, I think. But it's counting for now. Trent uh, really needs to play a good one here. Draw a shot to be lovely. Get right on top of it in particular because they've got everything passed, but just pushed it out there again. Uh, helping as, as it's their closest yet, but yeah, yeah. really gives. Tuck this in. Yeah, good chance just to nail it. I mean, whoever gets on top of it first is going to certainly enjoy that, but it, again, I'll just to slightly have the upper hand with everything past the jack. Speed's okay. Only another one in there. Yeah, he's, he's drawn up. It's really a great shot. Oh. It's going to be a bit unfortunate sitting next to it, but <laughs> mm. I think tighten up here, but I don't think he wants to be pushing it out. That's why it's a tricky hand, though. Oh, yeah, he's, just, he's got a good opportunity to play a couple metres over here and just play it tight, sit and run, trail the jack, like his line. He's got a good area, as long as you give himself a chance. He has Short. not anything but there. That one hurts, but that's why they give you two. <laughs> didn't want to play it too early, I think maybe. <laughs> Arced it quite nicely, just. Yeah, so. yeah. this is the, this is the tricky spot for Gary Kelly too now. Like, does he try and tidy that head up, or does he cover the back? And I, I think he's called in the back here. He yeah. he knows the dangers, and at least if you got one back there, if your opposition does draw the shot, you can you're in a position to attack yourself. It's, if you try to tidy it up and you fail and your position get it, then you've got nothing past the jack when you need to play a shot yourself. So. Yep. Good call here. Plenty of room. Nice forehand draw. Get down near that dot. He's clapping. He looks happy. No. Oh. oh, he's clapping in sympathy. Ouch. That hurt one. That one hurts, Adam. Especially if he nails this. Well, it's, it's, oh, he's, he's pushed, pushed it out it. there. He might get What's his back. weight like? He's got, well, he's got three. He's coming back. He's got good weight. Can't trail this. What Boom. a shot. What a shot. Boom. That makes Adam's bowl hurt a little bit more now. A chance to get back there. We might uh, we might welcome a special guest for a moment. <laughs> the uh, We're going to get the groat on. I'm just going to run to the toilet, so... He's in here, wishing us well, so I'll, uh, I'll pass him on to you. Welcome, Grady. Thank you, Bakes. Hello, Groat. Ah, John James. How are you, mate? <laughs> Good, mate. Ah, mate, uh, Al just has played a bomb then, mate, so uh, GK's not quite here for this bowl. But they were looking good in the head. It was always a bit sketchy how it was set up, and um, Al just played a bomb to give himself three shots when they were down three or four. So nice turnaround. Very good. GK pulling up a couple meters short there, so he'll look to fix that. His line was pretty good. Pissy's just got to try and dot this right on top of it and make it even better for them. 
He's on a good arc too. I don't mind this. Yeah, he's not far out here. He looks good. Pitsy's played a pretty Gotta well. Got to be happy with hurry, that hurry, one. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, well. Oh, well, would have, would have liked it to finish just a fraction more, wouldn't he? I don't know what Gico's going to He might be just drawing the cutters back, but he's got a... It's very hard to know sometimes with his setup, isn't he, if he's playing weight or not. Generally, it generally is... He's just going to run through this, I think. He needs to settle. He has not. So that could be three or four now to Al Jester. Yeah, it was an... Generally with GK, if he spends a little bit longer on the mat, it generally... Oh, he's put that in the pit, so... It generally means he's setting up for a drive, but... Always. Here comes the hardest shot in bowls, the free one. No, he's turned his back yeah, on it. He'll get, right. get back nicely, though. He should still count. No, I think he's weights. Is he, is he staying up there? He, yes, he has. Oh, yes. That could be five. Yeah. Could be five. Yeah, well, they're doing a lot of kicking early, so... Five shots to the stars, I think. So I just had a message, uh, mate, from from Young Grote. Yes. He's uh, laid up at home on the couch, and he uh, asked me to come and uh, ask you guys to give him a shout-out. But um, <laughs> here I am here now. I can do it myself. Yeah, well, there you go, mate. <laughs> Hello, so, Mitchie boy. Good to see you watching, mate. Yeah, he's on the YouTube, so he can't send he can't send you a message. Oh, right. But, uh, well, I, I, yeah, he's, he's between death... And bowls. Oh, he's not feeling well. No, no, no. He's uh, he's got a couple of things going on there, but uh, otherwise he'd be down here. He was I'm sure he will. Six dollar schooners and eight dollar pints, man. I'm sure he would be. He'd be all over it. Yeah, yeah. That that actually. Now that you've mentioned the price, <laughs> that, that, that could make him feel better. He, he may just get up off the couch. Who knows? We'll see him tapping on the window here in five minutes. All right, back to the bowls. Good start of that from uh, from uh, the Greek god Billy. A little something behind. On the white, on the allows the angles here, but so good reply. Nice. Yeah, Sammy. Oh, Ross Cowan at watching from East. Or I can't pronounce that. Lothian, 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 Scotland. Scotland. Love seeing viewers from all over the world watching the Premier League. It's very good. Yeah, hasn't um, Facebook yeah, there's live one streaming made a difference to the game? Absolutely. Look at that one. There's one for you, Roy. With you from... Jandawi. Jandawi. Jandawa. Jandawi. 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 Let's call it Jandawi. <laughs> that has a... I don't know, I'm not sure what accent to put on it. No. Nah. But we'll, we'll call it Jandawi. This game has tightened up one hell of a lot now after that five from Pitts. It's uh, 28-27 to the All-Star, uh, to the Ospreys. That's a great spot there too. A couple of big ends here from uh, the, the All-Stars so far. Yeah. Well, um, I ran into Chris Smith earlier and he... Uh, Is he all right? He said they were specials because they haven't lost a double header. Who's this? Oh, Jan Dowie. There we go. Oh, Jan Dowie. Right. From South There's Africa. In Cam Michael. Zart's watching from Cape Town. Yeah, so Al Jester was supposed to be specials because uh, apart from the very first double header, which they said didn't count, they haven't lost one. So they're, they're two from two in every double header since. Their theory is. Nice. Run they've with got it. Two, they've got two double headers this weekend. They're specials. Run, run with it. Why not? And hard to hard to go past, you know, their form. It's oh, they're, they're it's been up there. Super. And if they believe, who's to say that it can't happen? This needs to rip down really hard. Mm, helps a little. Getting down to that perp, that dark blue would have been nicer for Chloe. Don't know. Well, I've been uh, I've been punted. But, uh, I was. Just settled in, but Bakes is back, and he's... Oh, hang on. No, no. That's hang right. on. We're, I'll, I'll we're take, doing it. We're I'll doing it. I'll take a sausage sizzle break. Okay. There we go.
All righty. I'm back. Good He's on you, Gray. Thanks for stepping in, mate. Give us a chance to have a little toilet break. Yeah. No, it's all good, mate. I don't, and, I my don't God, did I miss some action. Oh, yes. Yeah, you missed a five. So the whole game is uh, nice and tight now. Beautiful. That's what we love to see. We don't want to see whitewashers. We want to see battles. That's it. It's starting to get pretty windy out there. We've got some 4X flags out spread around the green, which you can see on your screens, and mm. they are starting to blow. So it, it actually calmed down quite a bit early on. I've been sitting outside watching... Uh, I've been watching the Reggies over here with uh, Pine and, and Burley. And it's been quite nice conditions. But as you say, those flags have just popped up again. And yeah, it's not, not too often you get a calm day at old Windy Hill. Uh, it just adds that different element to it. And a good shot there from Matty Norrie. Just made the uh, the old just a ball, ball fall over. So Gary's having a close look. Might be close for shot now. As we've seen, Al just to really get themselves back into the game here. 28-27, so not much in it. Uh, Gary Kelly, as you said, dropped the numbers. So he's buying on his rink now. 7-11, Corey Wedlock up 11-9, and Peter Taylor up 10-7. So on a knife's edge at the moment. Yeah, just in that uh, period of the game, sort of from here through to the ends, 15s, where things can kind of drift in and out, if you can, yeah, if you can get a little bit of an ascendancy here and get some momentum towards the the back end, which is what it's all about, really. You don't win games in your your first fourteen or fifteen ends. You, you generally win them in your back half. So you, all you really any team's trying to do is keep it tight early and finish strong. If you yeah. haven't jump out to a lead, it's a bonus. But really, well, uh, how often do you see a, a team that does jump out that's early it. and they always get caught? You know, yeah. exactly what I was going to say. You, it, you get out to the, the big lead really early and, and it's almost, it's just too far to go from that point forward and you know someone's going to come back at you and when they do, how do you, how do you wrestle back that momentum? Yep. It, it's a difficult thing to do. Yeah, she kept me a topsy-turvy game as we all know. But that last one, just opening up the backhand now for Gary to draw a shot to the blue. So the uh, last... <laughs> so DJ walks past. DJ's a delayed. spectator. Look yeah. at him. Yeah. What a, what a nice guy. <laughs> we'll see him again tomorrow. <laughs> All right, yeah. So back in here. I think he's just float her out, try and draw to that dark blue. Get a turn out of it. Make sure of the, yeah. make sure of the two. He's on a fair line. Stalking yeah, he's, it. Got a hold for that a blue now. Here he goes. A little bit of jack. I guess the blue <laughs> out nicely. Makes at least one. I think the red second shot, but... Don't think there's an awful lot of option here for yeah. Just just no. draw the shot ball. If he happens to turn it on, the jack is a chance, or he just just dies around it. There we go. Is that better? So yeah, so yeah, you just be coming in with yeah, it's just not, wait wait to those those balls just sitting in behind. Only one. Uh, give himself a good opportunity. Doesn't look, it looks like Tweed might have a couple of thirds. So he can't afford to lose his own. So float her out and try and draw the shot. He's Option certainly there. out there. He's in a good little area here. He's going to get back in time. It's coming. Not quite. Oh, he's not quite. Ooh, he's got down the old one knee. Yeah. No, you just you just looked a just a just tad wide from, it, a fraction, from yeah. when it came out, but uh, tad wide or a tad heavy. Take your pick. Yeah, we might see. Uh, I imagine Gary might stay on this back end and just try and get to that red one if he if he beats it, he counts obviously. But he gets get a turn out of. He could make three or four here. Not sure exactly what's next after it, but I, I, I would imagine Gary's is his, his own bowl. His first bowl, his third shot. Hmm. It's just whether Chloe's two are beating uh, that light blue one to the left of your screen. But saying on the back end, we'll see in a minute. He's got plenty of weight on yeah, him. He's, he's looking for that ready. He's, he's pushed looking it. for it. Oh, mate! Here, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> got the slingshot. That's not what you want. Yeah, it's, it's still. He's, uh, so he's played the big one with his first. He gave that gave that one a solid chance to get the ball out. It's obviously worth a few, but well, you've got to know. like the intent, don't you? And that's yeah, and, that, and that's the thing with the with players at this level, they uh, they back themselves to play the shot. Yep. And, yeah, you never never back yourself to miss by too much. It's going to go bad. Like no. there's some sides there are shots we play that uh, there's a bit of risk to it, but like you said, the the, uh, the great players like these guys, they back themselves and. Think well, I'm not going to miss by that much, so it's not a worry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, the game gets more complicated for us Reggies. When, Not when uh, you're the great. Well, you, it may surprise <laughs> you, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, you know, it, but it does get more complicated around where you, you you can see the you can see the game the same. Yeah. But but when you don't have that consistency in your game and you know you you have a little doubt around shots. Yeah. It it makes you play a little bit differently. So yeah, a little bit more. Um, um, uh, defensive, if you will. Yeah, at yes, times. Mate. Well, you wish some would play a bit more defensive. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's <laughs> the other other option, and you some just get right through in. everything. And <laughs> exactly. But uh, but that's 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 the game of bowls. It's it's the consistency, and you know a lot of a lot of people can see the game the same, but can you deliver the same? Yep. All righty, Sam's in a good area here. Going to drop down to it nicely. Yeah, that's a great that's what, start. That's what you want to see after. Absolutely. A, Dropping a number and then winning the next end, you nail it the next one. You've got to try and string a few ends here together. Yeah. Yeah, and the lead's game. It's, you know, a lot of people out there, you know, say, oh, I don't like playing lead because, uh, my, you know, my bowls aren't there. Yeah, or, which but is what, crazy talk. You, you've got to understand, as a lead, you dictate the whole end. Yep. Uh, you yeah, leads and seconds determine who wins. Yeah, Thirds absolutely. and skips determine by how much. I mean, there's two great, great bowls. there from Billy, yeah. And how many people in that situation leading... Go! Oh, I've got to get the shots. So I'll add a, I'll add a little bit yeah, onto it. Yeah, go flying past. And, and they and they miss and they're gone. This is what you want. You want two yep. great bowls in the head. Yep. You don't always have to have a shot. No, that's that's the job of the back end players. Yep. Yep. Give them stuff to work with and let them let them do their thing. Especially when you've got this sort of caliber of players. Yeah. So they're just pulling up a little shorter there, but the old back flop put it in a pretty handy area. So. But Billy, he's played a good first one. He's a chance here to play a monster. Get to that shot bowl now or slide past. Now's the time he wants yeah, to add that foot or two. So yeah, he, he played it well. Going now. Yeah, yep. he's gave it a chance. but Probably overplayed it a fraction, but still made sure he was up. Yeah, well, that bowl still can come into play at some stage, can't it? You know, Especially when when you've got these guys with such firepower up the front. Oh, yeah. You know, at the back end, they, most they can make the something move, out of nothing. So. Oh, so Gary's just, just wanting to get something past the jack before he worries about anything else. They've got themselves in a bit of trouble back there recently, so I don't think he's taking any chances this time. <laughs> Dean, <laughs> Dean McWinnie's... Dean McWinnie's uh, just passed by. Well, you know why that I is? I never knew he well, talked sign actually, language. Yes. Well, <laughs> the story there was I actually I actually went to get him a beer, uh. and, I, and I ended up in here, so... Last year. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was my shout. Ah, so you were just coming in to see if we needed anything, mate, were you? And we've all... Yeah, exactly. All well, I, yeah, I just popped in, to, popped in to just see how things were going <laughs> on my way to the bar, and uh, here I am, but... Uh, sorry, Dino. No, nah, it's all right, Dino. Sorry, not sorry. Dino's a big boy. Yeah, he probably doesn't need it, really. Probably down five or six already, so... <laughs> it's going to be a long day for Burley. Both their grades uh, finished in the... Uh, the qualifying finals, which means that they've got two bites of the cherry, they're so if they again. lose, they're still yes. alive. Uh, they are, yeah, all seven rinks have a burly rink on it over there, so that, yeah. that gives them that little bit of an edge too. Absolutely. Shot there by Chloe, that'll be third shot. Does fatten it up a little bit for Al Jester, but they needed another one in there, so good opportunity here for young Trano to play a good bowl. He's on a decent Not line. He needs to run. A bit tight He needs to run, yeah. Just didn't hurry that Bloody line. Bloody my... Weight well, was good, but not for that line. Yeah, so. and I'm not sure that's really helped the structure of the head too much. Just such fractions, isn't it? You know, one one bowl turns back half a bowl. Yep. Uh, another another one on the other side turns in half a bowl, and yep. Exactly, it all all comes down to your weight, and oop. <laughs> it's a just well, changes what the shot will be now. All righty, we do have some score updates from our reserve grade, and uh, still another person that's only writing down. <laughs> Brawl beaches skips names, but you know, uh, <laughs> uh, so Pine River's on there four rinks. Uh, the top rink is down five six, next rink is up ten seven. Oh, someone's jumped out there three to sixteen for Burley, and then six all. So Burley are up overall 35 24 in the reserve grade. That's Pine and Burley, and then in the premier grade, uh, we've got Brawl Beach up over. Overall against Burley, 29-25. Aaron T's up 16-9. Omar up 9-6. And Ryan Bester down 4-10. So 
Just got to hold on a fraction uh, here. No end, sorry. <laughs> Still no ends. You, you think Dejo would know. He was in here bagging out Wayne Hatchman before, and he's... <laughs> he's walking out now again. He's storming off in a huff. Back out into the wind, mate. <laughs> Don't come back without a result. So a nice, nice tight head for us here this season. Yeah. So his last bowl just, which... just been a little bit, little bit under grass. It's turned another, another one into the head there. So it's yeah. probably put the shot back on another. On, well, on the other hand Adam's again. got a good opportunity here. He can, you know, he maybe give the shot away, but if if he can draw to that that bowl of Billy's and get a bit of a flop back, he's going to make a monster. But he's maybe just trying to slide through that hole and get past the Jack. Yeah, well, that's certainly not hurting. But I assume that's what he was trying. You, you think mm. him just missing that front bowl and landing that uh, second shot or that bowl of L just as he would have made a cracking head. But, yeah, up and through on the backhand here for the L Jester. They've got their bowl coming through, so it gives them a little bit of protection. But okay, he's played he's this up, a bit he got closer. plenty on it. He's getting through. Just he's getting, oh, he's here getting he is. down. Very close. Oh, and, oh what and a shot. Rides with and it. runs down through. Well, there you go. He, uh, yeah, he adjusted too, so well so. from the last one where he was just a fraction tight. He He's taken a bit more grass and added a added a fraction of weight as well. Yeah, he's getting plenty played, of bend with those well. red things on that. Like mm. I said, that backhand is a bit tricky at times, but I wonder what bowls he's using because he's getting a nice arc there. But being the toucher too, just uh, interesting to see what Gary Kelly does here. He, he might just try and sort of promote promote Kelsey if he does get to the red he might change the head up a little bit because it's the way it's sitting I don't think they got anything oh they got there's, there's one down on the one bottom of the screen the here that's oh, uh, yes, they got a couple pass there is that them or I think it is I think it was the one that was in there oh, oh he's oh. Gone, took the two Hello. balls great shot <laughs> yeah no fluffing around yeah and uh, on the uh, the reserve grade rink that's also on this uh, this green the other elimination final between Inogra and Hellsvale uh, Inogra currently leading, or oh, Inogra behind, sorry, 27 29 on 35 ends. Yeah, that's close. So all, all games are pretty tight at the moment. Um, really, only Pine and Bird, it's got any sort of margin to it, with Pine being behind by 11, but that 11 is not much on three rings, so. No. Well, I think we might see him you know, try and get through this on his back end. He is, yeah, up through his own or underneath the jackal bowl. It looks close. Needs to hurry that line. Needs to oh, hurry. He's no, he's just a touch. Uh, not quite firm enough, I don't think. No. Well, not firm enough, not wide enough. Take your choice. But yeah, you, you, <laughs> yeah, one or the other, I guess, you, isn't it? But you, in a shot like that, you're probably wanting to take some of the bend out, aren't you? You're not. You're not. Uh, you're not trying to judge the. No, the swing. Um, you know, I take as much swing out as you can without uh, being being flat out. Good chance here for uh, old GK to draw a shot. If he happens to get a touch on that jack, he could bring some back ones in. So, yeah, there we go. So a couple of tweed bowls at the back there. And there is one L just the one on the lip. Uh, and we've got one in the, the right ditch of the too. Number, Who's in the ditch there? Oh, here's a, yeah, it's a tweed bowl. It's just a bit of It's just overplayed at a fraction. It gave himself a chance to move that jack. But Still looks to be one. Yeah. Although, like I said, it can be deceptive on your screens, but yeah, if he's got three, he could very well have three seconds. But so that jack movement can get a little ugly. But they have got one billy bowl right at the back on the uh, on the lip, yeah. just uh, right of your the number on your screen. Uh, yeah, there it is back there, just behind his left foot. There you go. If he plays weight right through and, and he does happen to get yeah, jack, it's probably as one as, of those better. As long as he goes right through with it, you don't want to move it. Better with more rather yeah. than less. You don't, don't want to be moving at two feet. Yeah, yeah, if he's just trying to draw it and he's sort of sliding underneath and slices a little bit, he's going to be ugly. So I think we'll be a bit firmer here. Could have three seconds. Yeah, nice and solid. He needs he's to got hold the a fraction. Ooh, yep, well yes. done. No jack, too. All stars going off. Crowd goes wild. Yeah. We've got a game on our hands here. If you're in the area, make sure you stop in. Yeah, you get happy hour prices all day. Rolling sausage sizzle. Can't go wrong. 
A good mate, Chris Hooper. Bikes, they told me you would join if I left. Awesome to see you there and doing a great job too. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I heard that you left, mate, I was in, buddy. <laughs> I hear that they've, you're doing all they've right. not nominated uh, Hoops for a community service award, haven't they? Yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> so two there to Al Jester. That'll be a confidence boost for uh, Pitsy because, mm. you know, if he gets... Uh, if he gets a roll on, he's as good as anyone out there, oh, isn't he? Oh, definitely. They certainly showed that recently as well. He made the Australian Open singles final against Sheriff. and Beat him for the state singles final not yep. long before that. Yeah. So, you know, that those scalps are, are huge. And, and they've got to do your confidence a lot of good. Oh, most definitely. He's very well respected and liked amongst the bowling community, that's for sure. Everyone I speak to always giving him full raps. So, yep. And he's showing us why. Yeah, I played... Uh, I played pennant with Pitsy in uh, South Lismore. Okay. For a little period of time, I had a bit of a stint in uh, in Lismore in uh, my journeys around with uh, with Westpac, and they had a very good side up there. And Pitsy was just starting back out then, but he had a lot of ambition. Yep. And was pushing hard to play further up the line, and uh, he's proven in the last Ooh, well, we five years or so yep. why. Mm. All right, so fair start there from Billy. A foot, a foot or so short, and see him just slide through. But nice chance here, Billy, to draw another good one. Just slide around his own with that foot of weight, and get right on top of it, really put the pressure on. But it's just underneath a little. What's his weight like? Yeah, yeah he's just, a bit, bit, just lacking a fraction, but a bit under. Yeah. All right, now Sam has a chance. He's left him open, so just correct and draw that little touch here and. Get his team back on the right track. It's in a good area. Yeah, he should get back just inside this, shouldn't he? Yeah, should do. Good weight. It's dropping now. Yep. Yeah. Well played. Great correction. Fall over. Yeah. Which makes shot. makes his second uh, his first bowl a lot uh, a lot more handy too. Yeah, with that's that, in that position. Set it up nicely. The old two bowl plan. Yes. All right, a young Trent must be close. They're staring it down. He's played a good shot. Whatever happens here, he's... Yeah, that's a good, good. good second. Bowls in the head. All right, so Chloe just drawing this. She's been playing this forehand pretty well. She's just trying to beat that last bowl. You know, slide, slide past it. Looks to be a fair area. Oh, and a speed race is close here. Hurry a little. Yeah, she's played it well. Here she comes. Played it well. Very good shot. Great shot, Chloe. And fall, yeah, great shot. Oh, the young fella might get to loosen the shoulders, no? <laughs> Chance there, it looks good to get both the bowls. Bang, but imagine if you yeah, float her out, try to draw the shot. Stick with the draw. Okay, so, so that's a good call there. He's, he's not asking him to really draw to the head as he is. Yep, no, Trying to give himself some else position, build the area. It, yep, build, build some options. Yeah, I mean, there's enough turn there to be able to draw the shot, so, you know, you draw a shot, draw a second shot, something yeah. else around the area like he's done, it just sort of leaves the tweed a little bit more vulnerable because yeah. they said that those two bowls, you can get them both, so. Yeah, he would have loved another foot just to yeah, get the jack higher, but but yep. either either way, it's still handy out there. There's nothing else past it. It's um, yeah, Chloe's going to change over and just try and beat that last one. We'll die under it, even around it wouldn't be too bad. But she's out there. Yeah, she's got a good line. Yeah, I think to she's come more back on the little. outside of it, which is good. If she's running, she's played it well. Yeah, yeah. she's got the weight. Two That's good shots. I don't think GK would be too unhappy with that. Alrighty, Matthew Norrie, what's he uh, what's he think? got in store for us? Is I think we'll see a little bit something under the under the incoming bowl there. Looking for a little sit. Yep, definitely yeah, going a lot firmer. <laughs> yeah, bit, bit more than <laughs> looking for a little sit. Uh, Bang, yeah, oh, he got two of his own out. That's oh, that's Ouch. that hurts a little. Opportunity here for Adam and Kill now to draw a toucher. Yeah. Just that Jack moving a foot or two. He's you know, it's all tweed back there. Yeah. 
Well, it was an inter- just, uh, interesting choice of weight there for that shot, really, wasn't it? With well, I think you know, assuming he was going back, for the two bowls there. He, yeah. um, I don't mind the shot. He just yeah, he just pushed her out there a bit. But like you said, he either play less, just trying to arrive to land something. But he does run the danger that I'm just turning Chloe on with the jack back to her own. But yeah, he had a couple of opportunities. He chose to go firmer. He just yeah pushed yeah. her out there a bit. So let's see what Adam can do. Let's see if he can make it hurt a bit for him. On a good line here. He's looking good, isn't he? Gets back a to the jack touch. now. What a little great touch. shot. What a great shot. That, yeah. oh, that changes everything. He's, yeah, he's just going to have to try and draw now. Needs to just beat that wing one, get a good second shot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, he's changing his hand. He yeah. prefers the forehand, Pitsy. I don't know that Matthew looks too keen on down the there. Body yeah, the body, body language. Yeah, the body language tells you a thousand things, doesn't it? Yeah. But his, his mission here is not, not to get shot. It's just nah. to get past those two short Just short get second counters. shot, yeah. I mean, he can draw hand on both. He can yes. draw a shot on both hands there. It's the option's there. But he's, um, he's not a mile away. He's got good weight. He's no, close. He's, good, he's been getting some relief there. He's there played it really. We didn't like it. But, oh, he's got the fingers out. He's hey. uh, this, this a good listen shot. Listen to your skipper. Listen to your skipper. Back him in. No, that's a great shot. But it does, just crossing the, the line there, it does give out a... Oh, Tweed, the opportunity to land it. Exactly. There's yeah. enough bend there that he plenty of room around Chloe's front bowl to land him. Yeah, he just got his head poking out enough, hasn't he? Well, All I think right, you, uh, you might be getting booted, mate. Oh, I think so. standing uh, over here. He's got the handcuffs out. Exactly. <laughs> well, when you guys get thirsty and hungry and need a toilet <laughs> break again, I might uh, might but pop back in. that will be but, awesome. Uh, yeah, thanks for the time on here, and we'll, uh, oh. we'll check you out a bit later. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, and he's... Oh, he's played a good shot. He's made a three there. What a bowl, Adam McKeown. He, he did open it up a little. So, uh, Pitts, you can see a bit more now. Um, oh, looks good just to go quick on your backhand, doesn't it? I think you get, obviously, for the jack, anything wide, you're, even if you're wide to Chloe's and through that pack, you a chance of something. But I um, see what he does here. He's drawing pretty well. Uh, shaping up on the forehand. So he might just be going straight out on his forehand. No, just just, just draw. A few down, just trying to give himself something close. Mm. Looks like he's a great line. He's good here. He's played it well. Oh. It's a bit of downage. Got to be close for a second. Couple. Two. I reckon. Alrighty, GK's looking good here. He's gonna just duck under Pitts' bowl. He's just sliding through it. Andy. Yeah, another one back near that dot. Another one back near that dot, so... It's not a bad starter for him. Is Pitsy just going to correct here? I imagine he will if he's in trouble back at, at the back there. I don't think he's got much choice now, but uh, he's a bit of, sort of committed himself with his first. So he probably wants to lose a foot or so. Yeah, beats his own. He's oh, look probably at burgers. Shot. How good are they look? Yeah. Um, Whitish. He's not here. Looks light, yeah. Hmm. Ark was okay. Now, is it worth him? I don't know if it's worth him trying to land that ball with a. Or we'll just beat it. How far it has to go? Yeah, I think just draw the shot. Holding two, I think. Alrighty, looks like it'll be a good area. And he's a good weight. He's a good weight in a hangabout. It's a yeah. good way to yeah, they're putting the fingers up. It must have that white bowl must be a bit further back than it looks. And yeah, it's straight in. So three. three. Could be four. Could be four. That's um good timing for him. They were just starting to get on top of him, old Pitsy, but I don't know if he's superstitious or not, but he's on thirteen now, so he could be Mayday. We'll see. Could be 
Ooh. The other rigs are still close as well. Corey and Nick, 12 all. and Four runs. Yep. Four runs. Four runs. Billy Bowden. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, he's looking for Oh. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing here. Hmm. All right, here we go, going for to the Tweed Bowl. It's for any new bowler out there. It's a good little uh, bit of coaching on how to measure. Gus says there's yeah, no sound really on YouTube. To this, he didn't go to the yeah, centre of the bowl. but <laughs> <laughs> oh, Might be an umpire's job here. Peter Bryan might be getting a call. Wind's picked up. Yeah, she's starting to get a bit gusty out there. Our yeah, flags are blowing hardcore. Thank you, mate. Hmm. Let's go on over there on Colin Drinky. Looks like he's got a bit of a shot to play. I think he's holding one at least. Looks like Mason Lewis's bowl. Yeah, it's um, 30. Oh. Twenty-six ends have been played. Uh, about five minutes ago, Nicole, on the Broad Beach game. Oh, you got, you've got another chat up here. How many have you got? Oh, yeah, I've got the um, Premier League chat going now. Oh, yep. Yeah. And David Baker says, afternoon, gents. You're on your spotty. Bakes it. <laughs> All righty, I missed that end. Sorry, let's see the look on the way. I didn't see if it was three or four. Dave, your sure. name was popping up a fair bit the other night when I was um, having a chat with old Duggo. <laughs> Did you get any talking in or was it just Duggo? <laughs> no, just Duggo, <laughs> Just Duggo, standard. Oh, Sam Barkley. He's played a good one here. That's a ripper. Get back to the centre line and hold. Yeah, That's great happy. shot. Great shot. You love seeing that as a skipper. All right, smack bang on top of it. Thanks, Simon, for putting that in, mate. Yeah, Gus has probably just got to turn the volume up on his TV. <laughs> Gus, you've got it on mute, mate. <laughs> oh, Billy, that's a good reply to a good second shot. Gives his team something to work with. Yeah. Something to heat up out there. Yeah. Jester on top, 35-30 overall. All the scores we have. No, I think it's a bit of an update now, but um, oh, that yep. was um, but the crowd's getting up it. Yeah, that's for sure out there. So then that, uh, how long oh, ago speaking of Duggo, oh, there's, his, there's his missus, so <laughs> he must have... He's probably listening going, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, two good ones from Sam there. One on, one behind. That's the old uh, textbook. A bit like Phil Jordan. Phil does that quite often. I think uh, someone's going out to get some uh, updated scores for that game too, Nick, so just hang tight and... And, uh, we'll get you some updated scores on the Bulls game. and uh, well, I can see Aaron Bulls Sheriff game. giving some high fives. So. Not a bad one there from Billy. It's, he put a, would have loved another foot on it, but it uh, still gives his team plenty to work with. I think Chloe here, just dying around the shot bowl would be ideal. be ultimate. Push her out there a bit, but she's headed in the right direction. She's getting past the jack. Just get down to that spot and stay she up. She needs to stay. No, she's just scooting through. Just, yeah, it's gone through. Oh, Benny Walsh. Oh, the jet. The jet. What a champion. <laughs> Looking very casual. <laughs> Got the flip-flops, stubby in his hand. <laughs> Got a few uh, <laughs> Musgrave volunteers around at the moment too, which is great. Plenty of uh, plenty of our members getting down and supporting this and, and enjoying the good bowls too. And unfortunately, it's our second year hosting. We didn't make it in either grade either two years. So hopefully that fire is uh, lights a little fire in everyone's belly to, for next year. Not that we'll be hosting, of course, guaranteed. But yeah, just the fact that how much uh, how enjoyable it is being here on these weekends. It's great atmosphere, always great games, and uh, yeah, very proud of the club. We put on a great show here today. I think. No comment, mate. You didn't want to give us a wrap at all. You're just going to... 
No, mate, I, 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 love the, I love the coming down to Muzzy for the finals, mate. It's always great. Always a great venue to come down to. Three greens and uh, always a great atmosphere. Oh, great shot and, there. Uh, great shot, young Treno. I was uh, too busy looking at these updated scores here. So Pine are down 31-39 against Burley on 38 ends. And Broad Beach are up 39-25 on 36 ends. So Broad, he's starting to sneak away a bit now. Good shot here. That's going to change it up a bit. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good ball. On 38 ends in the Pine game and 36 ends in the Broad Beach game. And it is 39-25 Broad Beach. And it's 36-32 to... The Hawks over Ooh, my, is my the eyes. My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. I think I can see Nathan Lurch down there in the corner, and he's got yellow and green zinc on his cheeks. <laughs> well, they're up Looking in the ridges at the moment. Yeah. Just trying to get that 39. I don't think I've ever seen the Lurchy boy in the zinc. 38-32 it is to yeah, Hallensvale over Nogra currently, and on 44 ends in the reserve grade. Elimination game. It's a handy little head here for uh, for our Jess. They've got one, but they've got a couple just past it as well. And the Tweed do have the backest, backest bowl. So um, well, are we going to see them attack? But that front bowler there doesn't look like needs to go fast. I might just see a full draw on his backhand here. Turn their bowl if he does slide past, get another good one. Or he can just draw the shot. There he is. There's a lurch. Oh, I knew I was. Oh, and Brett is. Wilkie. Oh, the whiz. Couple of legends. Hey. Good to see him supporting the Reggies. Yep. This is uh, one, uh, one hour 44 in, 32, so take note. You get to see old Lurchy boy on the camera. <laughs> Send him a little clip. It's going, to, going to early beach with him later in the year. I got lucky enough to get an invite for a, a tournament over there with him and Brett Tynan and Looking forward to it. It's a nice little spot in the world there, mate. Never been there. Never been early? Never been there, oh, yeah. mate. Look out. Yeah, so I thought we might see a bit of weight here. He's looking for the bowl. He's close to. Edge it. And, and then Jack. Jack. Yeah. Shot. Jack back to the back one. Ooh, the one in the ditch is close to counting two. It's a look on it. Definitely one. Very close to the second, but... Uh, our good mate Gary Bong Schiltz says, have a, have a beer and an Aussie taco for me, boys. We certainly will, buddy. See you next weekend for our Easter singles that's on here at Musgrove Hill. We've still got a few spots uh, available, too, if anyone's looking for a game. You get, uh, you get pick your day. Saturday or Sunday is your qualifying day. And uh, if you wake, win your way through, you come back to, uh, for the finals on the Monday. So it's a great weekend. It's always a bit of prestige to it. And I think 3K up to the winner, so... You haven't got your name in yet, Doge. No, it's, it's the first year I'm going to miss in about five oh, years, I think. Oh, well, of course. Just Mrs. as I started working here, that'd be right. Mrs. is working <laughs> all weekend, unfortunately. So I'll take the girls over to Mum's for Easter. and yeah, I've enjoyed the last three or four years of Easter off, being out of the club industry, but He's tell, you sit what, this. tell you what, tell you what, oh, stayed as well. Chewy on your boot. Mm. Great shot. Stiff. And Lily is watching from Dunedin in New Zealand. Good on you, Anne. Welcome. Go the Waz. Go the Waz. <laughs> I was silly the back camera last night. No. You don't back against the Waz in, in New Zealand. Well, the plate across. Actually, camera. their record at Christchurch is not amazing, but um, yeah, I got the old Waz in my multi, so happy days so far. Who would you back between the Bulldogs and the Titans? I went the, oh, actually, I went the Gold Coast, mate. Oh, uh, my day. I'll back the Bulldogs. I jumped on the Titans for this one. If Kieran oh, right. back. He looks close here. Is he going to do with this red one? I don't want to turn that too far unless it's going in the pit. Mm, that could be... Just one now. Ooh, I reckon that shot. Red ball shot now. Dead ball's, red ball's definitely shot. If they lose that, though, they're four down. So they need something else near it, but... It, I'm back on the other one bowling still, I reckon. You reckon you're yeah. from here? Come, yeah. over, come over here. Close to the ditch. Come over here again. Yeah. I still like it. I still, still like the blue it? one. still like the blue one. It's nearly on the lip. Oh, oh. see where it's the lip. It's tough. 
Yeah. There you go. See what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, it looks quick. Yeah, it's humming. Chances here for. GK. Well, I think you just. Uh, I don't think you'll muck around. You just go that red ball. Got to. Pick your weight and go for gold. Yep. We've got at least three seconds. A touch her in the ditch and. Uh, Chloe's done the yeah, Chloe's done the right thing there. Done a little circle around the bowl in the ditch just so you know where it is in case it gets moved by a non toucher. Yeah, some of those rules. Alright, taking his time here. Big shot. It's, yeah, it's an important one. He doesn't look confident though, he's not he's unsure about something. He's gotta go it. Yeah, I don't I wouldn't try and fluff around with that tight hand on the line. I'd just be going straight at it, but looks like he's yeah, shaping up forehand quick. Cheers Big ball there from GK. Yeah, it looks wide out the hand. Oh! Uh, I hate it when I'm right sometimes. Great effort, though. Not much in that. I'll just turn it. Sneaking away with this. Yeah, Dosley up over the neck, 16-12, and Colin Lippen up over Peter Taylor, 14-12, and so they're up on all three rinks at the moment. Yeah, six shots. This will be massive for Algiers if they get this up. I know it's a long so way to go yet, yeah. but... Oh, mate, they're all... They are on heat at the moment, back end of the season. Yeah, you know, he's happy having one there, so... Or is he one? No, it is. Yeah. It is a bluey. Hmm. So one tweed there. Put someone thirteen all. Who? Alrighty, bring that mat back up again now, Tweed. Oh, Petswit. Petski, you said he was going to come down this weekend. Sounding good, lads. We're coming up. It's just a 45 minute flight for you, mate. Just jump right. on. You'll be here for you. Make it here for this evening's game. Five o'clock, they kick off tonight. So the winner of this will play the loser of Bro Broadbeach and Burley. Yeah, good starter there from Sam. Just past the halfway point here, and there's nothing in this one. Still seeing a handful of shots. He said his liver wasn't up to it. <laughs> what happened to you, mate? What You've happened changed. to you? You've changed. See, what happens if you get a couple of years in Sydney into you, mate? <laughs> Going soft. <laughs> All righty. So he beat his last year. He'd be happy. Yeah. He's out in a good area. It's, it's all in his run now. Looks a little light on, doesn't it? Get the broom out. Yep. Yeah, he yeah. went like that. He won't be happy with that one. Good chance for the Greek god here. Yeah, die underneath his own and get to that back one or... Obviously the ultimate and draw a front toucher. Arced it well. Yes. Well, he's, he's up. He's giving himself a chance. That's the main thing. He's got yeah. pretty good weight here. He's there we go. Two good shots. They're both in the game. Happy days. Yeah, Chloe's been playing this four round well. So she chance here to draw a shot. Any touch on the jack's a bonus. Bumped into the Greek god in the bathroom and just sort of said, mate, just get your second one up. You'll be right. You will Aaron Houston the... Well, that's why, is that's why everyone past? bailed out of the bathroom yeah. earlier too when I was in there because old Hubert went in there and let loose and it was all <laughs> over for everybody else in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since then they've had to close the toilet down. <laughs> Just under repairs at the moment. Yeah. There's a guy that looks like he's been in the bomb squad walking through there now. He's got his full kit on. All right, a young Trono's on a good line. I don't think he sent it. Mm. I don't think he sent it. Great track. 
Make that hard hand to get a bit harder now. Clark can just die underneath his bowl though. Yeah, oh, he's got a nice chance to draw a good shot here. Obviously just draw all the shot or any touch on that jack's a huge bonus. Just looks wide. Yeah, it looks wide and quick. It's that back one though. Yeah, chance. Quick. Should we go. puts that back one in a better spot really. That's a little unlucky there. Nico's got the jump on neck as well, 17-12 on mm. 13 there, so proving to be a bit of a difference in this game at the moment. Yeah, he's a great young player and great young bloke too, Nicky. Great value. I had lucky enough to get him in my uh, state rank this year and he was brilliant. Great value. No, he's good. He's good. Ooh, looks like he's might be holding another one or two over there as well. A few high fives from the Algester crew. They're getting pumped. Carl must have played a bomb. <laughs> All right, so I'm just coming down and have a bit of a look at this. It's, uh, you know, you think it's uh, somewhat of an open head for him, but it's, it's probably a few things for him just to discuss it, what sort of weight and. Are we going to see him attack more? Maybe. If he goes, if he goes quite firm and he gets the jack, he's every chance of getting that Al just a back bowl with it. So, is that what they're talking about, or they're just looking at just just arriving, land the bowl, grab the jack? Because he's certainly trying to make sure he's up yeah, here. Yeah, I think he's going to tackle his first anyway. Just to well, see. I see the couple of chances there. If he he can get the jack off the, the short wide one, or if he gets the jack, he's a chance of getting their back one. Let's see what he does here. Yes, he's quite solid there. He's on a fair arc. He needs to get down, get to the back one at least. He's chipped it. And the back Great one. Great shot. Yep. Look at that three. Did straight the, away. The four. Jack didn't go out of bounds. Though. Did it? I think he got it a bit. Oh, yeah. not quite firm enough. No, he hasn't. Sure, you on your boot. Firm swing. Firm swing. Thought he got it pretty good then. Geez, I thought he got that edge pretty nice to get it out. No, well, he did. He, he hasn't. Yeah, he he's put his hands on his head. Yeah. Stiff. Four shots would have been sitting too. Three shots. Well, yeah, so there's, one there's down. still one down out there. And obviously a bit of room. So good opportunity here. Matthew Norrie to draw a good shot. There it is over there in the corner. Ranger started at Broad Beach. Hope it doesn't come up the hill. Yeah, so it doesn't look amazing out there, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> I think he's played a good, yeah, a good shot there, Matthew Norrie. So I think it's just uh, not quite falling Tweed's way at the moment. But uh, we all know how classy a side they are, so if anyone's going to come back and still win this comfortably, it's Tweed. So let's, uh, it's going to be in for a big finish here, the way we're shaping up. And uh, here we go. Adam McEwen a chance to draw the shot. He's on a fair area. He is. Sorry. He's played it well. Stop now. He's played it oh, well. What a great very shot. Great, very good shot. Well played. But it is sitting out there in the open. So is Matthew going to attack this or just draw another good second and give Pitt the opportunity? We'll, we'll see. But well, they got two seconds. The two seconds, yep. Yeah. Might as well just have a little bit of a look at it. See if GK can draw one closer. Give him a bit of pressure. He's yeah, always got an awful lot on it. Looks like a tight side. Yeah, he needs to get to his own. He's about his only chance. Uh. Yeah, it's in, the, in between, between shot, I think. Yeah. If you're going to go yeah. the bowl, go, go the bowl. Mm. Otherwise, you just draw another good second. Mm. I try to, I can never really understand why someone displays that. I mean, obviously, he's trying to play the perfect bowl and land it in and stay, but. Well, when you've got two seconds, there's no need for that. Yeah. You're up on the, you know, 13 all. You sort of you got up on the big board, just go the bowl. Get it out, keep put things pressure going. on. Yeah, that's it. I think it the Mexican. Oh, old Max. He seemed to have fit in well, pretty well at Pine. Pretty happy, everything going well for him. It's good to see. 
GK looks like he's going a bit. So here we go. Settle. Let's see what sort of weight Pitsy mm. plays. I think Pitsy would fluff around too much. Pitsy backs his draw nearly every 95% of the time. True. So we'll and he might just, yeah, first one, try and draw another. Not You know, if he doesn't draw the shot, draw another good second and make Gary get one in there. And Brad Parker, great game. Thanks for the coverage, boys. Watching from Mulloway. Mulloway. I dare say it wouldn't be far away, mate. Probably a, a mile away. He's close. Just going to be under, though. That, that's in between weight again. Shush. Where is mile away? I don't know. I'll let you mull over that for a <laughs> while. Oh. You're right, Robbie. <laughs> You're right. Alrighty, so GK might have got third with that. It's hard to tell off the screen and how far away it is, but... Pitch has got to go this. Come on, mate. Rip it. <sighs> I don't want to fluff around. They're trying to land. Just get nah. the bowl. You got nah, it's silly. It's silly. Two, just get it. Two just feet get it. difference, but if GK is his third, maybe he's worried about pulling it and getting his own, possibly, but... But near again, more, I guess it's just your comfortable way to... So that's near, yeah. near coughs. Uh, he's playing that in the middle way. Yeah, it's obviously what he's confident with, and he looks close. He looks wider. Oh, I like this. Oh, man. Pitsy. Going to duck. Oh, see that tricky Same bowl. weight. That's, that's his shot, though. That is his up shot, though. One. Well, what are you looking at there, buddy? Yeah, he's made the ball, ball fall over mm. and looking to see if it's out of bounds, but it didn't fall over, so it was in bounds, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> Alrighty, Tweed's sticking with this, uh, bringing the mat up. It seems to be getting them back in it now. That's, uh, they're up now, 14-13. 14-13. They need a couple of big ends. Uh, well, Nexus, Next ring seems to be struggling a bit, so... Yeah, 12-16, or 12-18 next door. And 16-12 on rink three. So, El just is chipping away further here. Slowly, slowly getting away. Good to see your mate Stan's watching there, Bakes. Oh, yeah, yeah, getting yeah. your Stan. Yeah, good on you for tuning in, buddy. Probably catching on the I old saw him, uh, where did I saw him at it? Uh, Inogra a couple of weeks ago. Give you a bit of an update there. It's 44-36 to the Hawks on, on 52. 52 rinks there. So close yeah. one over there. Yeah, good start here from both the boys. Sam's played a good one and Billy's matched him. Good start. Tell you what, there's not as many spare seats out there. Let me can't see down like. Down this side of the club, it's mm. good to see we're in a prime position here, mate. So it's all good. Old Brownie's corporate box will be getting a workout. Mm. Eh, not too bad. It's in the game there. Two good ones. Gary be too unhappy. Green does. He's just humming a little bit here, I think, Bill. Yeah, it's, that's not a bad effort, though. Have you got a miss? That's where you missed. Oh, yeah, it's not it's far through at all. That's Green not certainly has that. tightened up a fraction on that hands since we started. What? It's tightened up a little oh, bit. You've lost the plot. Settle down. No, come on, mate. You've lost the plot. What do you mean tightened up? I said that. that look at this. Yeah. That's <laughs> a pretty similar line of what yeah. they've been taking. No, nah, no. Nah, they were two balls wider at the start wow. of the game. Mate, yeah, what are you got? Texture on this TV screen yeah. or something. You mark Come back to the line, too. Come <laughs> back see, to the see, line. See, cross the line. Cross the line. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we get someone else it's a ball here. He's lost the, he's it's lost a ball the He's been calling. At least. Al just a burly and pink's grey and <laughs> blue's yellow. He's lost the plot here. All, All right. This wet, is gonna sky's blue. Ooh, happy. Uh, he pushed him far enough and made yeah. Billy. Ah, oh, genius. Oh, and locked it in. You're going to hit that pack now. The two tweed bowls will go, so... What a result. It's all those little things. 
All those little things during the game and during the day that uh, people often don't see, but... Oh, there are those little things that are coming up all stars at the yeah, moment. Yeah, it, it is all stars. Starry, starry night. I think Chloe's played oh. something similar, but she's done enough. Through. Yeah, that should be close to shot bowl, you'd think. Huh? Done enough. Yeah, it looks to be. Yeah, see if she was. There she he had, is. She should have played that champion. line at the start of the game. She would have been tight. <laughs> 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 she would have guts the jack, you reckon? <laughs> Yeah, even Robbie shot. You know you've said something stupid when Robbie shot. Oh, look at that. Ah, uh, what a shot. Young Treno. Fat kid in it. Loving it. Loving his first finals appearance. Playing well. Dad up the other end playing good too. So awesome. Seeing the, uh, the old beer runner we've got here at Club Musgrave getting a bit of work. Yeah, yeah. She's walked through quite a, she's past quite a few times. Definitely gotten her 10,000 steps Listen. up already, I reckon. Yeah, McEwen's starting to get a little frustrated. Hands out there, wondering why it's not turning. Tightened up a little bit late recently, mate. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> yeah. If you was listening to the call, you would have tightened up a bowl when you were in all over that. <laughs> it would be funny to get the call out on the speakers outside so all the players can hear it. As we're bagging him out. Oh, I can't believe he played that. <laughs> <laughs> Your granddaughter? <laughs> oh, she only recently just turned 18, didn't she? Last Friday. Last Friday, oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. She's getting loose. Yeah. <laughs> so 18, that's many, many, many years ago. I'm 40 this year. It's scary times. Yeah. You'll start feeling it after that, mate. Let me tell you. <laughs> Well, he's out there. If he's got good weight, is he going to bend? But even if he doesn't, he's going to finish pretty handy here. It's not a bad starter. Now Adam thought he'd played a good one with his last, and it didn't quite get the release. So we'll see if he uh, plays much the same or he maybe overcorrects a bit because it is still quite bendy out there. But <laughs> nice, nice full draw down there on his forehand. Yeah, get to the shot ball. Just tighten up the ball, mate. Just work off the, can work off the wing. Get some black to it. Make notes of where he goes, all right? Mm. Hi to all Aussies from South Africa. Uh. Oh, Gary. Boom. Oh, Gary's running off. He's, He's liking it. Liking Happy it. days. Way to go one. We need him at the moment. Falling a little bit further behind every end here. Yeah, just, just slowly, slowly creeping away. I think he's liking the backhand here for this shot. I'm not entirely convinced that's the way to go here, but we just duck mm. under that bowl and mm. trying to draw a shot here. I think he's going to play backhand though, judging by his. Well, I think really they just need it. They need something else in there. They they got a couple in that pack, but mm. I think they can so both. So easy so. to push it. Yeah. His bowls do turn though. He has been getting plenty of arc. Yeah. He's got good weight. He'll get her a late release here. Beats that. It's a handy effort, but it's not quite. It's mm. not sure if that was the way to go, but mm. they can probably see it better than we can from mm. wh where they're standing. That's probably why that we're in here and they're out there anyway. So <laughs> most likely. <laughs> Alrighty, Gary Kelly. Chance here. Just I think just a flat front toucher. I think that's what he's wanting. Yeah, a little Bolivia Millerick just turning up to watch the Bulls. Yes, they uh they had a challenging season in their reserve grade from after winning it last year to, to get in the spoon this year, so a tough season for them. Mm. Oh, he looks close. What's his run like? Needs to hurry. He does need to hurry. Needs to hurry. Mm. Kind of forces the hand now for Pitts, I think. Once he backs himself off the inside half of that bowl, but I think he might just try and yeah, well get as close if as he can now. Depends the if they end. count already. Like, if they both count, maybe. But, yeah, it looks far too open on that back end just to draw the shot, doesn't it? Like, Kenny Ainsworth watching from Grafton. I wonder if he knows the old the Fox. Do you know Ronnie Piggott? It was at Grafton. Oh, is that where the Fox yeah, is the Fox ended is up? Yeah, the Grafton. What a legend he is. Yeah, he's a good bloke. Oh, what sort of bend are you going to get here, Pitsy? 
enough. Here's a settle. Uh, okay. Beats that and he counts, he says. Mm. Oh, you've done well with the lollies and that, but don't stand in front of the camera, yeah, please. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> well done. Oh. She's sure, right. She's gone. She's gone. No. <laughs> Alrighty, so what we got here to look, look at they're holding a few here. Tweed. I wouldn't be surprised if he just attacks this. Just go to Jack. Well, he's got room to draw it, but he's, you know, that backhand it is tricky. Uh, I think he's going to say, one or two, two or three. Yeah, that, I think that'll de de determine what he plays. If there's front two counting, it's four at. I've got to say, he gets, he gets the jack, he's good. If he's tight and he gets fat onto a GK, he can only get all three of those bowls out from Tweed, too, like if he's big enough. If he gets yeah, fat, he can get the edge off Chloe. Quick. I don't know if he's got that speed in him, though. Help Pitsy. So I'll, I'll be looking at back this. I'll be liking this. Get up it. Uh, uh, he's drawing, the drawing the shot, back himself in. Got a good arc, got to admit. He's on the arc. He's oh, on the get arc. Out the get camera. out of the way. He's banged this perfectly. Oh, he goes straight to Gary Kelly, does he? Mm. Oh, maybe the blue shot. And Kenny replying back. Yeah, mate, top fella. Foxy not bowling at the moment, though. Loves a gold or two. He is, mate. Say good day from the doge and the bakes for him, mate, because he is one of, the, one of my faves in the bowls world. Giddos, you guys yeah. can't call a shot. We know that. <laughs> we never said we could, mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're sitting here. He's giving them options, <laughs> mate. Maybe if they uh, if they listen to us, they might play the right shot soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they get the umpire out. Yes. Oh, Peter Bryan, big call, mate. Eh? Please don't muck this up. I'm back in the blue. Back in the blue. I am backing the blue. Oh, where is he? Where's our umpire? Butt scratcher. Oh, we got the one Butt scratcher. We've got the one from the other green. Oh, here comes Peter Wadlam down. Oh, my day. Uh, all righty. Look, those look close. I'm back on the blue end. Hmm. All righty. We might uh, see if we can see some other scores while they're measuring this. Uh, Corey standing in front of that, and Peter Teller standing in front of that. So I can't see either score. I can tell you there. the Reggie score though. It's forty-seven to Helensville over and Nogra forty-one yeah, on 50, 60 fifty-five. The fifty-five is it? Yeah, I can see it awesome. clearly. Very good. I can see Dogen's clearly now. Lorraine has gone. Alrighty, we're just uh, going to get Grote back in for a quick moment, and I need to run to the little boys' room again. So welcome back, Grady. I can tell you I've seen it. It is a little boys' room for him. <laughs> Welcome back, Grote. Well, thank you very much. Great to be here. Popular demand. I've had so much feedback coming through on the socials. Have you? Not really. No. Nah. Could have talked it up a bit more shit, mate. Yeah, I could have. Uh, do you want to around the grounds? Yes. So I've just done a little around the grounds in the Reggies. Yeah, you sound a bit puffed. Yeah. Yeah, I s <laughs> <laughs> sprinted. Um, Burley is uh, 51 to the Pirates, 36 on 52 ends. Whoa. So a bit of a gap's opened up there. Uh, the Bulls in the uh, top grade, 52. Burley, 26 on 42. Whoa. So a big gap there now. So they're looking uh, in the driver's seat there. And in the other Reggie's game, Inogra, 41. Versus Helen's Vale 47 on 45. Oh, I'm sorry, 55. So that game's staying reasonably close. So the Tweed Bowl was the shot. Uh, 52. Giddos is right. <laughs> Six on 
sorry, producer Robbie, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, yeah, up on all this. I know, I know. You get you get me in here enough, mate. I'll get the hang of it. I know. I just came up. That's it. Who's Great that? shot, Shannon Giddos. You guys can't call a shot. No, he's. He, Hey? Yeah, you, you're coming in late there, Greg. We've, we've, you already, you already we've marked that one off. Already yeah. giving him a crack at that? Yeah, no, get us a tab. Oh, I'd, I'd like he's, to give He's I'd, 10 deep and he's in the tab. He's, I'd like to give him nothing. another slap. Yeah. Why not? Could say he, he could <laughs> draw a shot this year, but that would be cruel, wouldn't it? Nah, he's going all right. <laughs> he was going all right. Nah, he did well for us. Yeah. Yeah. He had a bit of a shaky start, but he played he, oh, he mate, came that, good. That's, uh, uh, it was a pleasure to have around the club, mate, absolutely. He really enjoyed both the guys coming up from... Uh, Newcastle and Sydney this year. It was a real pleasure to have them there. And uh, is Jani from um, Malaysia? Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. Oh, Barbara from Cyprus. Cyprus, lovely. Barbara Austin sounds like a good Cyprus name, doesn't it? Maybe she's just there on a bit of a holiday. She plays bowls for Cyprus, I think. Oh, she's a Cypress player. Okay. Chloe's just going to pull under the head here. Don't mind the speed, though, and then what she's thinking of doing there. It's pretty good speed for what she was trying. Oh, Husey. Peter Hughes. says great ball. Billy. Those yeah. flags are just... It's coming down a pretty fair track here. Yeah, just needs to this. drop a fraction. Well, it's made it even harder. Close is really going to have to get the outside edge of her. Um, outside edge of that tw tweed bowl could get through, cut through the jack there. But keep your speed there, Chloe, and you're in a chance here. Oh, how's the pace? The pace is pretty fair. No, uh, she's going to duck, I think. Yeah, she is too. Yeah. So a pace. What do you think of that call, Giddos? <laughs> well, the pace was fair. Steve Jackson watching from McLean. Is that McLean Island? McLean. So McLean down on the uh, New South Wales, uh, just down near Grafton. Ah, yes. Another another Fox favourite. Dino rocking the Brisbane Heat shirt there. Loving it. Loving life. Got to get up this. Yeah. Chances. Bit get wide. down. No, oh, I might cut through this. Nah. No. Oh, how's that how it is, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's called a shout, mate. That's how it works. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Been doing it all day, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, what's the objective here, Dage? Um, I would be just trying to load that spot up. Yeah? Yeah. With this uh, trajectory, I think he's coming back. Yeah, well, that's gonna, that's the side it's going to go to if yeah. it doesn't go out of bounds. So, so uh, that's, that's your choice, isn't it? You yeah, know, well, wait. Lo load the, wait traffic to cover, in the, load well, the traffic in there or get something back. So Wait to cover the spot but be on that side of the green is pretty much ideal. That's a pretty yeah. good bowl. Yeah, exactly. Because the problem is his, but this is... Oh, he's, he's closer this yeah, time. Yeah, he's got to get the inside half of this, though. Inside half. Oh, oh, just got it as fat as. That's worst possible. The game has tightened up, though, because uh, Neck is back in the Nick Gosley game, and it is now four shots the difference on the big board. Seems every time I step in here, it's uh, it tightens up. That's what she said. <laughs> Say hello to your mum for me. <laughs> That's still my quotes, Groot. Yeah, I know. Well, I just, <laughs> they're such good ones. Yeah. Oh, Brody going great guns up in that top green up against uh, Burley. Looking forward to the next one. Mm. Yeah, no, it's uh, going to take a, a lot for them to get back up there. I think that one's just about... Uh, well, you know, you can never you can never call it, but it's a long way back. 
I'm looking over on the horizon towards the ocean there, mate, and things aren't looking amazing. Uh, I think we're going to get a little bit of uh, mist, a bit of mist coming through very in the next 15, I reckon, 20 minutes. I think it's just a little sea spray. There's old big BW, oh, Brendan Wilson. Gone hard at that and uh, needed pulled to. it in tight. Needed to. Yeah. You're oh. back in with two, though, don't you? Well, it's a tough one now because he really need to hit that with his first. Because mm. even if he gets it with his second, he's still even if he kills, he's still two well, down the on thing, the yeah. spot. And yeah, it's a good chance so to kill. So Pitsy's got Pitsy really needs to sort of try and get in between, beat those two balls and the jack. So he counts yep. on the spot and counts on the head, and they're three up either way. Exactly. And it really makes it hard for GK to even on the spots not far from county. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right, and he is. He's a little. Needs to settle. Yeah, needs to settle. Just a little through. Covers the spot though. He's three on the yeah. spot now. But yeah, he's he's like a foot through to where he wanted to be. So, a couple of updates in the um, games in front of us. Uh, Pine Rivers thirty-eight, Burley fifty-six on fifty-seven ends in the Reggies. In the top grade, uh, the Bulls are fifty-four, Burley thirty on forty-six ends, and. That's all I have. That's all you've got. That's all I got. <laughs> well, it's a conference here, isn't it? Well, and, what do you do? They, well, they're talking about exactly what you were talking about, Doge. Needed to hit with the first, haven't done so. So, is is it the right shot to go hard again, or do you take some medicine? No, he needs a draw. Back off. He needs a draw. Yeah. He, he needs to get... Two's, two's a good result, actually, to be fair, because I think that's an Algesta bowl, the red one. That's an Algesta bowl. There could be six down here. Just a tip, mate, when you're on the... Uh, here, you're pointing at the screen. They can't see you. I'm talking to you about no, mate. I understand oh. what you're saying. Like, yeah. Oh, i tell you what. He has gone again. Edge... Oh, well, there you go. no. Cut one out. But. I don't know. This could be five, and it could be three, or it could be two. Don't know. This is where I'd love to three. see... See the players mic'd up to have heard that conversation around that decision to play the shot. A little insight into that would have been fantastic, wouldn't it? Given that the uh, tweeter come back into this game f like four shots, this is a massive, massive result for the stars here. Mm. Uh, another shout out to Mitchy Boy. If you're still on the couch, mate, no use ringing me. <laughs> I'm a little bit busy. <laughs> he, he probably wanted to get live on air. That's probably what he wanted to do. So oh, he's played this well. What a, what great a shot. shot! What a great shot! Didn't need to. Didn't need to be anywhere near. Pit boss, they are four here. This is four runs here. Yeah, yep. didn't need to be taking anywhere near three, that close. Taking out four. Shot. Now looking at this, this could be six and it could be four. Could be five. Okay. They're gonna have a look. Interesting. Interesting. Big, big turn on this game now. Absolutely. Uh, so what Mitch was trying to ring through is Texas. His house is one kilometre away from here and it is raining at his house. So... Oh, a little 15 minute call. Was, yeah, look at expect that. Expect that you any, can see moment, it over any that, moment now. Over that nice tall ball over there. It's starting to mist in. Yeah. So that beats that. Yeah. And that beats... So what we'll do, Mitch, uh, once the rain comes through here, if you can let us know when it clears at your house, we can give the we can give them the tip. I'll call the umpire here for this one, I think. Yeah, it's close. Umpire might be five. I'll just likes it for five, I think, if they're calling the umpire. So what? Who are you? So we pulled four out. We've pulled four out. Big, big end. It's raining on surface. What do you mean by rain? Can you do fire? You can see it outside. Oh, it's starting to mist in now. That's yeah. uh, when water comes yeah. from the sky. <laughs> the severity. Oh, okay. Sorry. So I'm going to have a little tip here. When I sat in the chair um, last time, I do believe Al just have picked up a five to bring him right back into it. Handy, handy. So I'm backing a five again this time. I think it's the uh, it's the great effect. 
So I do have a soft spot for Pitsy. Oh, there's old coming off his scooter. He seems to have Benny in the Jets, enjoying the coverage outside. It's running a surface. Where's oh, here we go. Um, the uh, the official weather forecast from 11 King Street, light rain. Light rain. Light rain. There we go. That's a, uh, that's a five, yeah? It is. It's a five. Four runs and a no ball. Oof. Al Jester, you are welcome. I swear every time I leave, someone gets a number. So yeah, I was just saying. Uh, out. Yeah, it must be you. I thought it was well, me, but it must be you. Well, when you leave, obviously the support goes goes <laughs> away for um, well, just take, just, for, just, for just Tweed, take. and my soft spot is with Al Jester, so <laughs> I, I bring it for him. I uh, just went outside too to check out the atmosphere, and, and it's getting it's buzzing out there. Yeah, there's a good there's crowd, a, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, there's probably one of the busiest finals... Uh, I've seen for quite some time at any of the venues. So, we went on the club. Muzzy put on a good show. Like you said, the mist is just starting to roll on in now. So this might just take a little bit of the shine off the green. Uh, might just change things a little bit. So, it's going to be uh, in whose favour. Only time will tell. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a hard one, isn't it? All righty, Billy. Playing pretty well the last few ends. He's on a fair area here again. It's maybe just going a little, but always a handy start. Yeah, it's dropped, dropped a couple of degrees out there too, actually. It's starting to get quite cool. Cool by uh, Queensland standards. Cool by Queensland standards, yeah. Yes. Or Darwin standards. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, Sam's pushed that one out there a bit. So we were saying last time I was in the chair, mate, those ends through 8 through 15 is where you just want to hang in the game yep. and start to get some momentum. And we've kind of seen Al just to do that, haven't we? Like they, they backed away a little, now they've come back, and it's it's really here where the momentum's going to uh, bring one team through. Yeah, we're starting to get to the money ends now, so... Um, oh, Billy's left the, left the gate open here. We are 48 all in this, so it's obviously nothing in it. Um, Broad Beach, the, uh, the other grade, have leapt out to a comfortable lead and seem to have control of their game. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh. well, get away with that one a little bit. but Yeah, none of the leads have exactly nailed that one. A bit uncharacteristic, but... Uh yeah, uh, your, seconds, your seconds are there to back it up, so yeah. this is where the teamwork yeah, comes into play. good chance here, good, good shot here too by Young Treno. There you go. Great shot. And that's what you want. Yeah, a little unlucky just to sit that jack high spot, but still it's there, they've got to get it. And uh, Adam Maurice Zart says he's from South Africa and he's just a bit confused. Corey Kelly, you got Corey Kelly. <laughs> Corey Wedlock and Gary Kelly play for Warilla Bowling Club, so how come they're playing for Tweed? Uh, in our Premier League, we do allow uh, what we call marquee players or fly-ins or whatever you want to call them. Um, so yeah, you can get interstate or international players in to, to represent your club for this competition and their calendar obviously just allowed it. Um, they don't have to join any of the club or be a part of it in any way, just uh, purely just to play. So. Exactly. No no different to where you see those guys pop up in the BPL for different oh, franchises. Treno. Oh, and flops back Two in front great of it. Two great shots from the young fella there. He'll be pumped now. He's and the noise is getting up outside uh, there up, too. Yeah, our updated score is Al Jester 56, Tweed 48. So they snuck away again here, Al Jester. They, they got away to a lead and Tweed pipped them back as you'd sort of expect, but they've jumped out again here. So well, that's, pro that's probably that five going up on the board. Maybe, yeah, it, maybe yeah. it wasn't up before. Yeah, Chloe's played a ball. great shot. Great shot, Chloe. Gives her team a chance here. Yeah, there you go. That was looking real ugly for a second there. That That's as leads where, you, where lead. you love your seconds to cover you. Yeah, and we all need it. Well, yeah. No one plays good for 21 ends, so but those particular moments is the second. That's where you really need to, hmm. to stand up and, and play the big one. Well, that's that's the spot, isn't it? Seconds are 
Second's a really integral position. You know, you Most certainly, Sometimes yep. you, you've got to cover that lead spot. Sometimes you've got to play a position. Sometimes you've got to play a little weight. It, there's a lot of variety in that second spot. And, of course, keeping a neat card. Yes, that's crucial. Absolutely. <laughs> Probably the most important part of the... <laughs> and uh, what's happening there? So 49 to Helen's Isle, 43 in Nogra on 60 end. So they're starting to get through it. Uh, Matthew Norris a little tight here. You work off... No, you wait to get an all in there, but... Yeah, they got to take the punt in. Another ball on the head here. Just draw a shot. Get to either of them dark blues. He's done his job here. Good guide out there on the wing. Stay close, though. He's not going to be far away. He's got good weight. But you can see the rain just uh, starting to really blow in now. So it's going to be uncomfortable for him out there in the next 20 minutes or so. But we're okay. We're inside in the nice, cool bowls office. So How good is it here? Yeah, it's... Seems like a player problem, but yeah, the rain's starting to get a little heavier now. Even a few of the spectators starting to get under cover, and this looks tight. He's going to get a walk off here, but mm. not, not quite thin enough. Ended up okay because he well, got another bowl in the head out of it. It could be another second there. Certainly ended up better than where it was going to without the without the touch, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, we'll swing over here. Just use Chloe's bowl as a bit of a guide, or is he going to stick with his four and He's a bit unsure. I imagine Gary's giving him the choice here. If he's on his fore and he's sort of drawing the dark blues, he's on his back end, his chance to uh, draw the toucher, yeah. tidy it up a little bit. Uh, backhand does look the better option, but... Yeah, you just pop that, you pop that jack through. Yeah, just another bowl on the head at worst, what they need here, because they're three seconds for Algesh, and the way pitsy has been going, he'll pluck it out clean. He looks close, just a bit of something here. A little here. walk there, a little oh, oh, he's got the wrong bit of a jack, the, one down. The wrong side, didn't he? It's just falling the Algesh away at the moment. In but, the area, you know, that, played a decent shot, but it didn't quite happen. That's not all bad news, though, because that... that got another bowl in the head, yeah. Well, it allows Gary, you know, you've got, you got the bowls on the, on the left, of the screen there allows Gary to play positive, you know, sit yep. a bowl, trail a jack. Whereas before he had to be a little bit, yeah, you know, a little bit careful when you're holding. Sometimes when you when you're down, you can. Yeah, it's almost better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, for the long, you know, you, sometimes you don't want the shot too early. Yeah. If if you've got position and uh, same as same as sometimes you don't, you know, you, you try to play the shot with your first, but sometimes it's better if you, if you play it with your second. It's it's less to come after you to change that. Alrighty, here we go. What's the bits he got here? He's a okay. little four-end draw. He might be trying to cover those back ones a little bit, but he looks too tight for that, so he might be trying to draw another shot here. He, he's close. Get under that he's one. Very close. Uh, turn that. He's oh, and oh, unlucky. And, uh, <laughs> he still moved the jail. He uh, yes. might still be holding there. He yeah, from our angle here. looks pretty tight, tell, but it... it, it, it you know, it just fattens the head up a little bit for Gary now, really. Yeah, just play that yard or two away. Probably trying to give us a good shot, but that's... Uh, that looks to be Al Jester, yeah. from all the angles we can see, but... But I don't think it's going to... Either way, I don't think it's going to change well, Gary's shot. I still think he... Um, yeah. Yeah, I still think he's just arriving down there. The oh. ideal result is half jack, half bowl, and get it sort of moving... Pop it through can towards make three Chloe shots. there. Yeah, you make three, four if he gets it perfect. Yeah, which would be huge in the context of the game now because it's like said, we're just starting to pull That's away good. a little bit. Al Jester. A tight line. How much weight's he got for that line? Yeah, not sure he's got enough to hang on there, has he? Uh, he no, he's gone. So. But another one in the catching another pen. Another one in the spot. Yep. Well, oh, a bit past the catching pen. Maybe in the back pen. Yeah, now what does Pitsy do? Does he try and tidy that up, or does he just get something back? Like, you don't. You wouldn't imagine Gary's going to miss that again. Well, you know, so Pitsy could do worse. Than, could do worse than come down on on Gary's hand there and on draw weight, and just touch that touch that jack in behind himself. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, it's, um, it certainly, sometimes, certainly would you know, not hurt. You're better playing it. Be a great it. shot, though. But yeah, but playing it into the danger before they do, and, and you stay in there. But could, yep. you know, if, if he's only playing that, that nice draw weight, he's he's pretty good. But yep. no, I, th I think he's yeah, I think he's plucking out the back here. I think yeah, that's yeah. a smart play. If Gary gets the bowl out clean, he's only he's um, 
You know, he's only pits. He's only one down. If he sits it and stays, he's, he's two. But if he gets that jack, he'll make four or five. Time. Yep. Looks like he might be a bit short here. Just needs a bit more, didn't he? Yeah, it looks like Chloe's put her hand up there. She, uh, Great way to be able to play that on the other hand, eh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that draw weight you're talking about. Just draw that touch, yeah. He had the he had the weight for the weight for one hand and the grass <laughs> for the other. <laughs> All right, so we're deep in discussion here about just what sort of weight he's going to play. Mm. Um, the opportunities he's got available to him. I don't think he'd be trying to be too cute about it. Like I said, he's got most of the bowls past the jack there, apart from that one. One of Bills, but see if he gets half jack, half bowl, gets that split on the two, he's getting all the angle he needs. But so they're looking at something. They're yeah. looking at something on the forehand here. Oh, he wouldn't think so. No, it doesn't. It looks like a like a just a real no brainer, doesn't it? Unless he's not, yeah. Unless he's not liking that backhand, maybe he's not confident playing it, possibly. But I don't think he'd be worried about getting his own because he's getting his own. He's get <sighs> some sort of jack movement. It's done, well. With the weight he's with the weight he's playing, he's he's going to stay in there anyway. He's not going to be any worse off if he get you know. If he gets yeah, well, unless that's what they're talking about. Maybe possibly playing more weight. Um, yeah. But even if he gets Pitsy's bowl and the shot bowl, get the dream roll. I think the dark blue to the right still third or fourth shot. So he's not going to be making a number that way. It looks like Jack movement's his best option. But let's see what he does here. Like I said, he maybe he's just not liking that back end. His angle is... He's looking he's forehand, isn't he? He's looking forehand. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, let's see what he sees. I mean, he can he can squeeze that jack back on that hand too, getting the little... Sp oh, yeah, it's okay. It's firm. Oh, he got the bowl for one. Good shot. Maybe you're thinking if he got the jack and he happened to get Billy's back one, he could make yep. a big number, so... And on the kill... We couldn't see from here the spot, mm. but uh, see if it's still out there. He would have had at least one or two on the spot, you'd yeah. think. He would have so. had to have. But anyway, they're scoring. That's the main yeah. thing. They didn't want to be losing too many more ends. Yep. But that's a good little insight into the psyche of some of these players, you know, what, yeah. they, what they see. and Yep, and everyone sees things a little different. And, you know, they say play the percentages, but if you don't like what you're looking at you're not going to play a good shot are you so no. sometimes you just got to back yourself in and trust your instincts and your your percentages change with the strength of your shot as well mm. you know what's your go-to what's your go-to shot a, a draw or a drive and that will determine what you see a, a percentage shot around it looks like the Brody and Burley game is uh, calling it quits they're all they're all done Gotta let the go get let the, what's the time? It is twenty two minutes to three. Oh wow. They finished early. For those of you in the uh, southern states, twenty two minutes to four. Daylight savings time. Oh that's about three thirty. Sorry, I'm just thinking food. <laughs> I'm oh, on, okay. on the on the club clock and I'm just trying to yeah, we've yeah. got to feed all these players too, so I think Dage comes back soon so I can get over to the kitchen, make sure they're all prepared and ready. Sam Barkley, a little bad start, just lacking that touch. He hasn't quite nailed it today yet. He's, he's, he's been far away, but just hasn't quite got on top of it. Oh, yeah, so here comes Billy. Oh, he's got a fair area. So that little bit of rain, so you can see it on the green now. It's probably taking a bit of that shine off. It's a great start. Well played, Billy Mitalinios. So putting the all sorts of pressure on him out there. 56-49. Pitsy up 18-16. Nick Gosley down now, 18-19. And Cohen's jumped away a little bit, 20-14. So... Good, oh, great correction, Sam Barkley. Played a monster, draw the shot, little touch. And for an exciting little finish here. They've got plenty of game left of this game left. I, Brody have obviously just run away with that stuff a little bit there, and um, they were all shaking hands, so they must have must have finished with all sorts of strength. So Brawl Beach have, uh, have won that one. So Burley is going to take on the uh, oh what a shot, Billy Mitalinios, what a monster. 
Yeah, he's he covered the jack up too much. But, uh, yes, the build is now going to take on the winner of this game, and Broadbridge is going to take on uh, Pine Rivers for a chance to win their way through the grand final. All right, if Sibili's played a monster, what can Chloe do here? She can change this up or get something in there from to work with. It's all about building heads there and a good angle, so yeah. Nothing for short, though, is it? No, this is one thing you don't want to do here is drop short, which she, I don't think she has. She looks pretty good. Maybe she has. She needs to run. Oh, great attempt. I guess they're only just missing stuff, aren't they? But they're missing the... Just looking for that extra... Um, Extra couple of feet through. She, she's got another two foot on that and she's right in the wheelhouse. Yep. Oh, I see Pitsy just wants a little bit of cover. Get it in early so it's done. And you know, this electrician's still hooking up these lights. My goodness. <laughs> oh, they're, oh, they're not... Not finalised yet? No, they've all they've all been they've been installing this week and hooking them up and etc. But they, um, yeah. It's, uh, well, nothing like just in time. Yes. As long as you're in time and not out of time. That's it. <laughs> a few of the uh, Broadie boys sitting out front all looking pretty pumped. Tell you what, she's closer this time. See if we can get, oh, she does look good. She's got she, a bit of extra she has run. She's got this something this time. Oh, and she's played that's, a monster. But that's, that's a great shot. Yeah, that's, you're not Whatever unha the result. Not unhappy down if you're out just here. you got two good bowls in the head. Yeah. You know, with a lead on the score, but I think you need to be doing any anything silly here. Build the head, you get one or drop one, you've, you've done your job. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's looking to get a little contact. Yeah, he's still draw up to it with confidence, but you do slide past, you're in a good spot. And he's do you assume that they're down? Oh, oh yeah, I like down. To, I, sorry, I didn't see the little corner shot there. I like yeah. to think Chloe's ball was shot, but yeah. it was oh, shot. It was oh, shot. what a great ball. <laughs> well, there's uh, blow for blow. Jeez, he's playing well, isn't he? Young Treno. Yeah, he's coming down for a bit of a look just to get a good idea of what's what, what the angles are. Yeah. Don't know if he can get the two uh, two billy bowls out neat or not, but mm. a couple of chances. Probably better off being sort of through Chloe here on his forehand. If he's at, at near Chloe, well, she's got a pretty good angle there to, to turn through the head. If he does get down to the split, he's a good solid chance too, so... Yep. Just arriving up there through Chloe would be nice. If he does miss wide, he gets back. Gets back, yeah. Gets back. What's your go-to, Bakes, in a situation like that? Do you like to come and have a look, or do you like someone to call you? Um, no, I'm generally quite happy with the call. You can, you generally see the shot you want to play most of the time anyway. Yeah. Sometimes the walk down the green can, doesn't, yeah, doesn't can, do you a lot of favours, does it? Some, Yeah, it can work both ways. It can give you the players. time to relax and re take it in, and other people, yeah, just stalls what they already know they're doing but um yeah i think from the mat that should look like a pretty nice shot for them so mm. i think you just uh listening to what your skip says and execute yeah i said he did plenty of plenty of good results there the only bad one really is if they're too tight and they're turning billy's front bowl sort of onto the jack or their own bowl if he um but other than that it's it's pretty nice head there for him they should be able to convert this one i'd say but Matthew Norrie just trying to change this up, but he could be playing oh, the unfortunate. This could get yeah, bad. yeah, that was. I knew that angle looked good there. That's that's exactly what Tweed Tweed wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Talk about playing their shot for him. Yes, unfortunately, he got that perfect. Could not have played that any better for him. Now Adam's got a good opportunity here. Just float her out there on that backhand, beat the uh, one just past Jack High between the legs there, and you should be counting. Yeah, moments like that that swing can do. That can be, that can be. A, you know, we could look back on the 21st end and say, well, that was when things really changed. But, but to be fair, you know, they probably had to change it themselves. It, it, it could have happened anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, played that well. Drawing it. Yeah, it's like three. And he's fallen over, so he's slightly in front. It's 
do we see him go whoosh now? Mm, I would not be surprised. Yeah, two bowls there at the front that he it looks like if he hits them, he's every chance of doing a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, I think Chloe's uh, the one that counts. That will probably lock in, but yep. if you get everything else around that out, then you're doing pretty well. But they have been drawing well, you know. Maybe he'd back himself to draw down there on the backhand or the forehand, as we're seeing. Yeah. Turn his own bowl, the, draw the, the shot. They haven't even haven't even entertained well, the backhand. Oh, it looks backhand. like Corey's just played a monster. Look out, Corey! Don't run too fast, mate. Yeah. Great to see a bit of animation for him. He's usually a very uh, Oz, very calm sort of he, character. He, he doesn't show a lot, does no. he? No. Always they looks must, like he's must have been a good shot if he's run down and chased it like that. Yeah, it always looks like he's found ten dollars but lost fifty. <laughs> Righty, uh so I'm not sure what the score was on that one, but Pitts is staring this one down. Get to his eyes hey. perfectly turned it, but that Charlie looks well. on. Well, you just need any sort of contact on that front Charlie you'd think it's looking like it's gonna get him but Oh, how'd you know? That's perfect. I don't know. I you were <laughs> Your mate knows me. He knows me well. Yeah, the day has just returned with uh, one of Bakes' favourite refreshments, so that's the that's the sign for me to move on. They need a moment together. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll let you call this one home, boys. It's uh, going to be a really great finish. I'll uh, I'll go out and get close to the action and see how it goes. Enjoy. Thank you very much, mate. Just go tell the kitchen that they're going to be off soon, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, no, they're probably no, far no, enough no. away yet. Um, and Gerard Beath asks, is it just me or do the master board and the total of the rink scores not add up? So let's have a look. 15, 25, 35, 45, 53. Yeah, they've, they've yep, that's that's all good. So El just is still holding on here, and just a chance, just to float her out, and if he draws in that hole, would be would be optimum, obviously. Corey got a seven. Oh, Ooh, no wonder he's uh, running down the green. That's huge. So we're just waiting on them to change some balls before we update everything. Thank you, Jerry. 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 Steve. 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 <laughs> Steve was the bodyguard and Jerry. Ah, oh, yes, of course. I thought you lost the pot then. <laughs> All righty, here we go. Holding it's tight yeah, he's as. Yes, he's well, a little bit of a chance. Yeah, I don't like. So I'm not 100 percent sure that Charlie's getting it, but it looks pretty good. But now he's got the chance if he's wide to their bowl too, he can get back to the jack off that, and they've got a couple past it. So I'm assuming they're the two furthest back as bowls. I think just backhand firm with your own weight is. Uh, Chance here, We've got a couple of couple opportunities. The crowd starts to gather. A few people showing a bit of interest in this game. Obviously, um, Burley see? trying to see who they're yeah. trying to see who they're uh, up against in the next one. Burley going down at Broad Beach, so Burley will play the winner of this game, uh, while the loser gets to uh, sit and enjoy a drink and uh, watch the evening bowls as their season will be over. Alrighty, don't even look around too much here. Yep. Oh, he looks tight. He does look he tight. He is tight as... He's uh, not happy. I'm sure he'd like that one again. It's all tied up. 60 all. That's seven brings uh, Tweed back into it. So it's basically new game now. Ten ends. Best of ten ends win. Thank you, Roger. Saying the ring scores are they're all blazers. All to blazers. That's an interesting term, but thank you, mate. 
All righty, Pitts has got a better line this time. He's out in a good area. Chance to draw a good shot here. Maybe even a little touch could bring the back. The bluey in. He's up, up, yep. What a monster. Great shot. Makes it count. Two shots to Al Jester. They can catch him. They can't quite pass him. Yeah. Tweed. You know, we've, all been those, we've all been in those games. The ones where you can catch them but you can't pass them type scenario, but... The, um, just keeping their nose in front. You can see that. It looks like a bit of rain's died off. It's still a bit overcast. And oh, don't say that, Petsky. <laughs> what do you say? Don't turn the footy on, Bakes. Oh, yeah. I, I, I tip the Bulldogs, mate. That's I got smart. the Titans on my multi, mate. They, <laughs> <laughs> they're going to come through. <laughs> I uh, learned many years ago you tip against the Titans because if they win, it's a bonus. If they lose, well, at least they get me tip up, which is usually <laughs> a guaranteed point every week. Dave, guess there's any updates on the Reggies? I can tell you that um, Broadbeach and Burley are in the top grade are off. They pulled the pin early. Broadbeach are up by enough to cover the spread, so they are out. Uh, Broadbeach, so not out, but they're finished. Broadbeach are up, so they'll play Pine to go through to the GF tonight. And uh, Burley will play the winner of this game. Um, the Inogra game against the Hawks. It does look dominant to the Hawks, I believe. It is 63 to 48 on 71 rinks there to the Hawks currently. Good shot, Sam Barkley. 71 rinks. 71 ends, sorry. And yeah, 63 to 48 it is. 15 shot lead to the Hawks against the Nogra and the Reggies. Elimination on 70, 71 ends. Yeah. yeah. Two good bowls there by Billy, both in the game. Gives his team something to work with. Ah, oh, Lauren. G'day from California. Good to have you part of the Premier League this year for the first USA bowler in the Premier League in the history. Yeah, I think he enjoyed his time here. Obviously, it was um, a tough year for Hamilton, and he was at Hamilton, but still, I hope he enjoyed the experience and get a bit of a gauge on the actual event. And yeah, good to see him over here. It's a long time, though, away from your family and your loved ones, and wouldn't be easy, uh, all that travel. Alrighty, Chloe, you're just looking to tidy this up, I think. Just sort of touch the shot ball around the corner or die around it. Not bad. Played it well. Not flop bad. off of it, it'll be nice. Back to the cell. Oh, it's a little stiff. A good shot. Just those little things not going their way today, Tweet. No, but they're still in the game. I don't like your attitude, Petsky. Sam and Malty's an early strife. <laughs> What's the score, anyway? I saw a 6 0. Must be like 12 0, 18 0 by now. Hopefully he needs to bend a bit here. He was kicking the leg around, but touch that and slide past. That doesn't hurt. And just gives his team concept. something to work what with. Yeah. He's going to do. He's going to call him down. Even if she misses and gets through that little hole there and finishes just behind, is a pretty fair effort here. Mm. It's Chloe don't need to change too much. No, she looked close to the first one. She's tighter. She looks tighter at the hand, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. she's a lot tighter. Yeah. Great weight. Vest of good vet. Alrighty, Mary, Matty Norrie here. Just be trying to draw a toucher, I imagine. Four hands, hit the ball, touch the jack, draw the shot. Plenty of opportunity for him, even if it's a bit wide and sits that wing one's a good start. 12 nil half good, time. Pretty good, pretty good head. Ah, oh, 12 nil is not bad for the Titans. Oh, he's playing his backhand. Oh, well, you must see it better there. Looks, looks all right. Yeah, looks close. He needs to hold a little bit. No, he looks good. Okay, no, he needs yeah, to hold. No, yeah, yeah, sorry, <laughs> mate. Yeah, no, my bad, but no, he's got, he's got, got a shot. good, decent result. He's got the shot. I said there's a couple of opportunities there. <laughs> Winger and 
Turl's having a good chat. Must have a tight head next door as well. As Rinks, uh, Corey's jumped out a little bit there. 26-19. That seven will probably do that. What's the difference? It looks a bit hot out of the hand. For what he was trying. Doesn't hurt though. No, it's going to be the best back. It's horrible at the start of the games when you, at this stage of the game where you know every ball counts and you. Fluff one. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's see what Nichols did there. Wandering down, no high five, so crowd is um getting Ooh, it looks close very, very large. Yeah, he's not gonna sit this bowl clean, is he? I think he is. A great shot. Alright, fire one. Don't think you muck around too much with this. Relatively fat target. Just don't push it wide and get your own. Yep. Some sort of contact. Uh, two got out. two out. Back to one. Certainly helps. But got a I'll just a bowl back by the look of it. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think Tweed are holding the dot, but Al just do have one back there. All the people standing in front of the bowls of it should be telling them to move so they get out of the way of the camera. <laughs> 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 yes, Robbie, uh, Greg, it is uh, live on YouTube. Next game is live on YouTube as well. Uh, so Looks look like Nick Gosley's won their end as well. They're getting ready to throw the mat down, so it's going to be at least another shot to Al Jester. Well, we're going into their last end, so... Oh, how much swoop you got on you? How much sweep you got on your run? I right. don't think that'll count. So, imagine that looks like Al just to have a couple of thirds. So, I don't know that Gary be attacking this too much because he can get their ball off the red. So, maybe just a full draw if he gets good angle. He may get the jack over to Chloe's way and follow with it. Oh, what he doesn't want is jack down the line. Jack down the line is going to be ugly. Yeah. So, I think just Drawing the shot here, maybe. Yeah. I don't mind this. Yeah, it's the hold. Tightish, tightish. It's the hold is line. Yeah, it looked tighter there. And then, yep. Great weight for what he wanted. Bowl, two bowls wider. Bowl and a half wider would have been a fair, <laughs> fair game. Yeah, oh, this is if this electrician doesn't finish, I'm going home. I don't want to be around for the comments. <laughs> is he still going? Yeah. <sighs> My date. <laughs> Greg, wasn't Greg Robbie? I saw sure I saw Greg <laughs> Robbie here. He's sitting out there, isn't he? <laughs> sitting in the um sitting in the corporate box of Brown. Yeah, I was just gonna say it's with Brown Dog. Yeah. All brown balls. Young Stevie Monk here down here enjoying the balls. That looks tight as well. Pitsy. Gonna hold. Trying to hold on. Yeah, Not for goes. two. There she go. Yep, that's counting. It puts Gary under all sorts of pressure now. Hmm, decision time. You'll be looking at the other rings to see how they're going, but there's still there's still ends left. So we've got four ends are just on this on this rink and then two on the other two, so Gary's maybe just, just buying himself some time to make sure he's the last off, trying to get a bit more control over the game. There's no doubt about it, he's gonna be last off. Oh, I know that, but just to ensure he's got more time. Well oh, Damien McGee's throwing something in there, mate, has he? <laughs> 
<laughs> do I, <laughs> do I want to know? <laughs> oh, I've lost the comment. See, you should have just oh, read it. You should have just read it out. You make me lean, lean, lean over. It says, uh, I will leave now to be there to finish the lights for your bakes. Yeah, thanks, mate. Oh, mate, that is. Been here for a couple of hours and I'm starting to panic. Big ball here from GK. This is huge. Just wants I think he just wants to draw the shot here. I think he's bunching all Oh, he's going big. Got it. Got the jack. Got it. Bang. Fat. Fat. What a shot. Finger up. Probably got it, you got it straight enough to make the two as well. Get that on replay. Yeah, that could be the shot of the week for next year. <laughs> <laughs> Big D says travel costs will kill you. <laughs> We're only so far, far away, mate. Jeez. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You've been talk, talking about living at Broadie for the last 10 years. Well, that certainly <laughs> keeps Tweed in it. Don't come here from the Aussie Cool Rules, though, mate. I still love you. <laughs> That's not what you were saying earlier. <laughs> well, you're bagging him out. No. That's it. <laughs> uh, so it looks like it's going to be two. He's marked a toucher. <laughs> Adam McEwan's just marked a toucher in the ditch. and <laughs> No bowls to come. <laughs> so, uh, I'm glad we got that on the f on screen. <laughs> Maybe he's just marking it to make sure the umpire knows. Yeah. Oh, well, gee, give him a pass. Yeah. Robbie's at home now. Comfort. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, you're, in, you're undercover, mate. What do you mean, comfort? A long measure here for uh, looks like second shot. We can see the infamous Aaron Tees there, the top left of your screen. Young Joe Davis is. <laughs> Sure, he's using his index finger then. <laughs> uh, nice long measure here. And we do thank uh, Tweed Heads for the use of an umpire today. We had a couple of our own uh, unavailable, so they've sent um, someone over from Tweed. So thank you very much to them. Dave is his name, so thank you very much, Dave. I don't know if there's no favourite oh, there, but it might have been a bit of tweed favouritism there from Dave. No. <laughs> no. Second shot to Al Jester, one to Tweed. So they needed that score. It's a great shot, Gary Kelly. See, oh, they're not bringing the mat up this time. We might see a bit more length. A bit more, bit of moisture in the green now. And well, going long. Yeah, thought we might see that. Gonna stay oh. up. Jared and Isaac Morner will wrestle out our window. Bit of bromance going on. I think Tells has just played a monster. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Good start here. They want they want they want a <laughs> They want a uh, good start here. Some front knocker would be lovely for all the Tweed supporters out there. He looks a little light. Not what you want. He's just thrown the first long one for a while. Yeah. Send it. Yes, and Gary would be a bit upset with that one. Good opportunity here now for Billy. If he can nail this, puts the pressure right back on Tweed again. Which is what they've done well today, Al. Just so they... They've uh, put the, the pressure on Tweed on a number of occasions, and they've they responded a few times, but... Good speed. Yeah. Yeah, fair bad. start up. It's not bad. Stick him with the backhand, make sure he's around his own, and he's got to be up this time. Yeah, I don't know. He's wearing glasses in the rain. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's up. That's going to affect his way. He's up, but he's not clear finding a clear run. No, he's not. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch, ouch, ouch. We do have 61 62, but I don't think that is the correct score. And Robbie has gone and lost, lost our guru. 
Uh, so 26-21 on Corey's rink, and Mason Lewis is standing in front of the scoreboard on the other rink. But no tweeds on 20. Billy. Two big ones from the Bill. Hey, give us a fist pump too. We love to see the old fist pumps. Oh, he's giving the old wink and a kiss. Yeah. To the, oh. the Greek god. Geez, you'd catch that and put it in your pocket, wouldn't you? Save it for later. <laughs> Yeah, got to make sure you're up here now. He's pushed it out there a little yeah. bit. She's, she's got the run she wants. I don't think she'll be getting back. Uh, that's still, it's a it's handy the starter, yep. It's the spot. It's Miss, the missing the right areas. Is it an extra end each if tied? Yes. Corner to corner, though. <laughs> 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 no, no, is an extra. All, all teams come out for an extra end. Yes, correct. Yep, yeah. all three rinks. That we can, that all four, we, if it's reserve grade. That way, we can't have a draw unless it's one end. One rink is um. Oh, someone can get a two, and someone can get two ones. Yeah. Looks better this time. She needs a bit of work off Billy's wing line. She's, She's gonna, gonna get, get it, but not in no. She glad, probably glad they didn't roll that bowl over then behind the jack. It's still left him with a nice shot. Yeah, Pitsy just wants to just block, just draw a good shot here, just short of the shot bowl. He's got a good line, I think. Yeah, I like this. It's the all speed now. Yeah, he's trying to trying to wave it home. Work it. Even get back to Chloe's last. Day. That's a great shot. That is a great shot. Well played, young fella. What a great game. Josh Greenhog, Brisbane's biggest bin chicken. Yep, lost. Shoot. Lost. Shoot straight through to the keeper, yeah. that one, Joshy. You might have to explain that one to us, buddy. Oh, you mean the Ospreys? Oh, they the bin chicken. Ah, to show. They were the bin chickens for a while. Sandgate were the bin chickens last time I heard. What, willingly? Well, they're gone now, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Sandgate is right. going around anymore. Alrighty, well, Gary needs a big one here from Ads. There's enough, enough bend there, enough room. He should be able to draw that shot. Get to the shot bowl. Mm. Anything but short in this uh, circumstance, I think Bar Gary would be happy with. Oh, Benny Walsh is coming to say good day. Uh, old Benny in the Jets. Yeah. What a legend! What a legend! Hey. What a pelican! <laughs> This needs to get down. I think that's bending with that speed. Wants to halve that. No, get Chloe's out clean for four down. Mm. It's just not falling for him. Not mm -hmm. falling for him. Uh, Billy is a bin chicken because of his big nose. There's <laughs> no way to talk about the Greek god like that, mate. Yeah, he will curse you rough. and lightning will strike you. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, now a chance here for Matty Nori. Just uh, just something counting just, just short of that shot bowl, short of the jack on that forehand to be happy days. Judging by the score, it should be tied 27-21. There's a six-shot difference, and there's three shots on either rink. Mm, well, it doesn't make it any easier for him, but the, the, track's, gets under that the, though, the track's still chance. definitely there. Yeah, the track's still definitely there. Got to play forehand. You got to get out of that red. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you'd think that's your better option, but even getting that back blue one on his backhand is not bad. If he's more confident on that backhand, I'd be happy for him to play because he can still get the jack. He's probably more chance to get the jack on that backhand with the bend that's there rather than trying to arrive down this this sort of holdy forehand. So it looks like Peter Taylor's rink is 
Oh no, that's the middle ring. Sorry, it's Nick Gosley's and Corey Woodlock. Look what they've finished. And everyone is standing in. Oh no, 27 21 to Tweed after 21. All up to date. So, so we should be. Oh, 2720. Oh, Collins held just up by four. Getting the money in now. This is huge, this end here now then. 10 past three, good. We should be nearly ready for some food. Cohen, everyone's cheering. High fives. Could be a score to Cohen. He only has played a good one. Gary and Adam giving themselves plenty of time to think about this shot. This is a big shot in the context of the game. I know they've got a few ends left on this rink, but they don't want to be chasing eight, seven or eight in the last couple. This could be huge. Al Jester. Would this be one of the biggest outside of maybe Hamilton 2016, whatever it was? To win. Like, yeah, to win, but just, you know, a uh, feel-good story for Premier League. Like Al Jester, first year in the finals, up against it, against a star-studded tweed lineup, and to actually, if they get this game up, like, that's a that's a massive effort. Considering that well, they were they were written a, off early in the piece, they were. Well, they've had a huge run, and they've had mm. a tough week this week in terms of players and eligibility and whatnot. So this would be a huge bounce back. Happens it up there for GK. Um, yeah, well, you know, Belmont did it a couple of years ago where they they didn't win it, but they made the yeah, they came true. from yeah, but you sort of being relegated to make the finals. Yeah, though. true, true. Um, you sort of half expect it from them. Like they just they they sort of come from nowhere. Like everyone had written them off, and mm, mm. even halfway through their streak, no one was really still backing them. But they've they've shown they got the goods, and like I've said before, well, if they keep this good about, together. You know what the difference is too with Algiers? They didn't make too many changes, even though they weren't going so good. They kept their side pretty much the same mm. the whole season. They've allowed them to sort of get the feel for each other and blend in, and they're really wreaking the rewards like come back in. How come I can't feel like you're leaning towards this is something Hamilton could have learned from? I'm not saying that at all, mate. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. Because you guys had changes every week. <laughs> it was like you, you guys were just putting him in a little bingo roller, <laughs> rolling all the names around and calling them out no, one by one. I wasn't referring to that. I was referring to purely on El <laughs> um how they've gone about their season and how well they've gone. Bubbles is working, walking with purpose. He looks cranky. Oh, so, yes, uh, Helen's all up easy on the other rink. 20 shots. 70, 20 shots. I don't know why they're bothering playing the last end. No, because that's what Reggie's do, mate. Yep. A chance to score in 21 in the last. Power play. <laughs> why would you bother, really? Like, once it's not mathematically possible... Well, that's what the top side did. It wasn't mathematically possible, so they went, right, oh, yeah. we're done. Yeah. Because no, it's not a margin it's game. He's tight. Yeah, he's, he's been asking, and he got the two back ones too. He's This puts him in a world of hurt. He's been mm -hmm. asking a bit much of him. Like he's keep leaving him in a bit of poo. He's bound for things to not go well for him. He has got one left, hadn't he? No, because they, they started this end, didn't they? Did Tweed rolled the jack? No. Yeah, they did, because I'm sure... Oh, yeah, they, they went long. They went long. They went long. So, got another first. One. so Pitsy's got two left, yeah. and yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh, interesting stuff. In for a tight finish here. Lost in this crowd. How good is this crowd? Look at that. I know. It looks good from the sideline there. Full Look house. The top left of your screen. Full house. Look at that crowd at the back. Full house Jeez, here. They must put on a good show at Club Musgrave. <laughs> so Pitsy looks like he's just uh, saying, "Rightio, well I'll give you another crack at it. I'm going to just whack something around the back. Is he going to stop? Don't know it's if he did. To tell. You can play the ultimate bowl here and just drop under that red bowl. Nah, with I don't, he's, he's, he's been hitting well. It's uh, a bit of a city of the bush, I think. I mean, uh, us mere mortals, would, <laughs> us mere mortals would probably draw it once the old mate with the walking frame gets past. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in front of the camera. That's why they didn't stop to change the tire. But yeah, he'll go this. Yeah, I think so. I think he'll back himself nah, in. He's he will. hitting well. He's 
I he guess will. He's, he's go to if you had to play one shot to win a game. I think you'd pick the the hit, but we are about to find out. Big shot in the context of the game. Holy two, game. probably three, if not four. It's tight. tight, too tight. Same ball. Mm. Mayday. This could be. Wow. Okay. Seeing it here first. Pitts has got what a chance got? here now. He's got. You got. You have to think. Is it dark blue ball, Jester? Yes. You have to think it's at least three. No. Nah. With a possible measure for four. Is that tweed ball? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Like the two billies and the dark blue directly behind the jack. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the shot I would have played if I was GK. Oh well, you just got to run into something nice. No, you got you didn't want it all of it or none of it. Two, three, three yeah, so something three with a four. measure for four possibly. Can be hard to tell distances on these screens with the camera, but. Looks like in Nogra and Helen's are... No, they're still playing. Oh. <laughs> 20 shots. One rink playing left. Oh, that's right. They play 84 ends, don't they? There's, yeah, oh, well then. I was thinking 83. Still. Yeah. Two eights to 16. <laughs> what was that? Four? Uh, I didn't see. Too busy gas bag and looking over it. Whew. Well... Have big ends coming uh, up, yeah. yeah. Are they asking too much now? Big end. Oh, they're asking too much. Stars have got this. I think it depends what happened on Peter Taylor. If did Peter Taylor won his no, last in. Oh. Um, 24, 27 to Al Oh, Jester. you got a four. 24, 27 to Al Jester. So you got a four. So you got a four. So that keeps them alive. That does. That does. That's huge. It's big. That is big huge. Time. 21, yep. Oh, my goodness. Even I'm starting to get nervous. I know I'm getting thirsty. Two ends, mate. I'm getting hungry is what I'm getting. I've, 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 I went nice and invested feed. in the uh, sausage sizzle there then for yeah, mate. It yeah, was yeah. Good. It was good. They'll be going, they'll be going through to about 6 o'clock, so I'll uh, grab one when we finish. Yes, yeah, definitely 24, 27, so... Here comes Sam. He needs to get past that. Doesn't want to crash. Well, good opportunity here for Billy to chuck one on. So we've got three of the difference, two ends to play on this rink. So this rink is going to decide our result. They need to win. They need to win the last two ends, and they need at least a two on this end, I think. Well, I think we could be headed towards a draw. We could be, but mate, that is that is a Two chance. And a one. That is a chance. Since someone made the call earlier, could have put the old mocker. Kerry Cattell says Gaz should have drawn the cut back. Yeah, but he's been playing his runners. It seems like his favourite shot to be getting him out of trouble today. So. When in doubt, give it a clout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> obviously, never any guarantee he would have drawn it anyway, I guess. So he just backed himself to what he thought he was his best opportunity. But I just think missing it tight was probably the area there. Maybe widening, aiming a little wider to mm -hmm. at least if he pushed it that side of the jack, he was getting one or two out. Dragons. So the Dragons have got up 79.69. In our other uh, qualifying final between Dragons and Pine Rivers. So that'll get Dragons uh, playing Tweed Heads for a chance in the grand final. And Pine Rivers will take on Helensvale. Shot here from Chloe. Great shot, Chloe. Here we go. They needed that. They needed that. <laughs> Big time. He's giving himself a chance here. Land the ball. Sneak behind for a chance. He's, he's played very well, this young fella. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, impressive. Good played uh, very good. Did his job there. Gave it a chance. Yep. Lands that ball far. And he's Jack. definitely. Yep. Chloe just does this again, and uh, they are looking 
Yeah, well, it's a nice hand. There's every opportunity to get a draw around there again. It's, it looks like she's got a foot and a bit to play with. Crowd is up now. Mm. She's here out of behind his head. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It's like fully packed house. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, she's just fully dying in the pack. We all through. through. Yeah. Oh, set up it. Oh, Charlie could come in useful later. You never know. Do the job. Alrighty, Matty Norrie, got a, not a bad shot here, and he's been playing this backhand quite well. He's probably getting more bend than anyone else, I think. He, he um, seems to he's be getting able to work there. Yeah, yeah just, just give his bowl a chance. Even if he turns that bowl of bills on the centre line up for another second, good. Get their second closer. Yep. Luck in the arc. Yep. Luck in the hurry. Pace. No, it needs to hurry. You're right. I hate being right sometimes. But oh, and that... Mm. Doesn't make it easy. No, but it might open up to play more now. Well, that Charlie looks like it's going straight on the shot bowl. So yeah, it might be a forehand shot now. Could just be going sort of sort of he firm through that. If he best results, probably that bowl of Billy's on the centre line straight through the jack because they got one past. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Tui will probably try and change this up a bit if they can get to that Charlie themselves on a full draw or die around it. So this got to be out and up here. Can't afford to be short. No. He's out. He's definitely out. Is he up? Not Is for that line. Uh, anything but. It's just cardinal at this stage. It's nothing for short when you're playing back. I think that's what he's looking at now. He pointed at those two bowls. Here we go. Solid weight is close. Cannon. Oh, he's got the split. Oh, oh, and the jack through the back one. Oh, you can see the look on Gary Kelly's face. Not happy. Well, not that he's not happy, but just, uh, yeah, he's sort of looking like it. No matter what they're doing at the moment, everything's working perfectly for Al Jester. So, still, it's only three shots and two ends still. They get a one here, they're still in the game. Hmm. So, good chance here. They got a nice shot on his forehand just to make sure he's up. Draw the shot, sit a bowl. Trailer Jack, we've got Chloe just down the bottom right of the screen there. So, he, this needs to be up here. Just got to make sure he gives himself a chance. Well, he has, but he's maybe just overplayed Ooh, a fraction. He's going to cut this under the jack. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. It's not all bad. Got Chloe ball back here. Yep. Jack, um, jack around that corner. He can still make three there, Gary. So, game is still here. I think, I think that's right. I'd, I'd probably play it on my forehand, to be honest. Either that gap and turn the blue or get past it. But I think he's just playing his back here. Back in to try and beat Chloe's back bowl. See if he doesn't get a bit of extra sweep and get the jack himself. But I'm sure, he'll take a nice, nice line here. Yeah, he's uh, just going to slide past the jack. Uh, he's played it well and counts too. What a great shot. Uh, sorry, Vards, I must have misspoke, but I didn't say he was scolding. I just said he was uh, looking like everything wasn't quite going their way. <laughs> he was spot on target, but yeah. 3.30, mate. Must be getting close to the old dish lickers having a run tonight. <laughs> Vards, I wonder if the Titans are coming back yet. Hope so. Weed players standing over there and watching with interest. This, this would be huge if they were just to hold on. 
Oh, that looks tight. How much weight's he got? I like this. How much weight's he got? He's Let's old. Hit the red. Oh, oh, he just hasn't got it well enough. Oh, back to two. Well, I just think he's got to try and nail this. Just get right on top of it. Yep. This one bowl could be the game. Yeah, well, they hold three here. That's. <laughs> I mean, we all seen funny things in the game, but asking for a six or a seven on your last is at this level probably pushing it. But you never, never know. If it's mathematically possible, then it's a chance. Looks to be on a good area. Coming a little bit. Just get back to Chloe's bowling. Is all right. Uh, get back to you. Oh, well, it it could be enough. So, I'm keeping you up, buddy. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Yeah, from here that through the window that pits his counts. What's his options? Slim the nun. Bear Jack or draw the shot. You got a side view there, Robbie, to see the crowd on the green there? There we go, look at that. We'll all be watching this one with interest. Is he away? There he goes. Alright, so backhand. Backhand Jack, or just drawing the shot. Backhand Jack. It looks wider at the hand. Adam was getting holes down. For bowls, it's a hole, holes yeah. For bowls. It's a big arc. Spare Jack on that hand. Probably doesn't cut one out either, no. Two. Adam's put two fingers down. One. One. Oh, it didn't. Oh, One. 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 All right, so he cut one out, so it sort of keeps him alive. Fours. Not out of the question. No, fours, you know, that's probably about your maximum. You, if you need to score some sort of a number on the last fours, really uh, your, your most realistic chance. But what a performance here by Algester today. Well, they're on a roll. Hasn't been too much difference between the leads, but I think the second and thirds. I think uh, El Jester have just sort of just been given it to them. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's probably safe to say. I think Billy's probably just gotten the better of Sam, but probably more so on the fact that when Billy's nailed it, you sort of nailed it, whereas Sam's just sort of not quite got any uh, or too many on top of it. He hasn't played bad by any means. He still played well and got got close, but. <sighs> Yeah, but uh, here's his chance for me to prove me wrong. And if his team needs an now one, now's the time. It's tight out, but um, tight just can't be short, short, I think. Can't be short. You need a four. Short is no good. Uh, his weight's in the game. His weight's good enough. Realistically, if that's going to count, that's going to be fourth shot, so... Oh, Billy's on the march. The Greek god, he likes it. He likes it. So does Matty Norris's. Oh, he's done the old airplane again. <laughs> Seen a couple of airplanes from him today. Might be his trademark. Good shot there by Billy. So Sam needs a good correction here. Needs to give himself a chance. Oh, it didn't look convincing out of the hand, but it's coming back. Gonna be okay. Yeah, die around that shot by all his done what he's had to do. It's in the game there. Forehand trail from Chloe here is just a nice little back in the game moment. Yep. Mm. There it is. To make it any easier for him. Yeah, she's been playing that forehand well. Give herself a chance down there to draw the shot, touch the jack. Or at least get past the jack to give her team a chance.
Don't mind this. Don't mind this. Hurry. Oh, I'm just gonna die. Oh, that does not help at all. Oh, Simon Wallace, why are you telling me the bad news? 30 nil to the Bulldogs. Oh. <laughs> there goes me multi. Well, this is the Bulldogs supporters. So <laughs> good times. <laughs> Damn it. Titans well, at least she took the Titans in her tips. So Did she? She's tried my little boy. Win-win. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, can't lose that way, can you? All right, so turn her own bowl, sit the shot bowl, just change it up a bit, more bowls in the head. <laughs> All right, looks to be a good area. Let's give her this blue one. Yeah, she's got to play this well, I think. Get down that bluey now. We'll good shot, Chloe. Give your team a chance. Makes yep. his next two very important. Mm, yeah, but Adam's going to need to play two monsters here to give Gary some sort of a show. But he's got a pretty nice shot on. Turn the blue underneath, grab the jack. A bit wide, turn, even turn Billy's back to near that tweed bowl. He's just, just got to be up and out here. A couple of opportunities. He's out there. As long as he's up now, I just no, he's not running anything but. Yeah, I've got a chance to draw up through Chloe here. If he sort of halves it and trickles off of it, he can get them both up and near the count. At least keep them in this uh, in this game. Otherwise, that very worse, and he needs to sit somewhere back near that back tweed bowl. Alright, he's in a good area. This is the hurry. He's pretty close. He's pretty good. Yeah, another one in there. Two. Well, he's got to be up, don't you? Gotta think you just have a go at this and you get one of those out and you're pretty much home. Yeah. They've got a few around it, but they probably don't want to get one of their own out. Like if they get that dark blue one out, you can you know, I suppose it depends on Chloe's beating Billy's wide one on the left of your screen, but he's yeah, just arriving up here. Just gotta make sure he's up. He's got a couple of good chances. Let's rip down through that back to the blue. Mm. Oh, that's hurting. Interesting. He allows Pitsy to play, play more if he wants to. He's got to play the same ball, don't he? I haven't got much choice, mate. Yep. A little bit tighter and he gets through Chloe. It's all good, but he's on the same sort of arc. Settle. I think he's played it pretty well. Yeah, downage, downage, downage. Yes, got to be close. Could be three. Hmm. This would be a massive four if they get it. You'd have to think that it's just not sitting nice enough for him. You'd think it piss you'd be able to change this. It's got to. Yeah, we don't want to give Gary the opportunity to draw or play any sort of a shot to get the four or more. He looks good here. Down to the yellow and green. Right, through the blue. Oh, oh, he's got it neat. Still looks to be three on chances. the screen. Chances. Oh, front touch on your back end. Yeah, it is three. three. Are they feeling, is he feeling the pinch now? <laughs> would they would they dare to dream and say no? We don't want four. We want oh. five. Well, that would be heartbreaking for Algester, wouldn't it? Pitsy having such a great uh, great year, great season, leading comfortably. 
And really, after the seconds had played, you'd, all money was on our just the way the head was sitting. Yeah, yeah. A couple of good ones from Ads, like he needed to. And yeah. You've got a game on our hands. Anything going against him is Gary hasn't he's drawn short. a lot. Of, he hasn't drawn a lot of shots at the short. last few ends. He's what he's, a he's, spanner. Spanner ball. Easy tiger. Easy. He says he hasn't. That's what I was going to say. He hasn't drawn a lot. He's been. He's, he's been very forced short. to play a lot of weight. A lot he's of two the time. meters. Well, it's not hard to do. You, you never done it. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's a big, big mm. context of the game. He needed that one. Oh, of course. Yeah. I'm sure he understands that, but yeah. he yeah, probably just tried to be a bit cute about it. Unless he hadn't drawn an awful lot in the last two or three ends at all. Could all mean nothing, though, if Pitsy plays a monster. He he has. He's out in a good area. Yeah, he likes this. He likes this. And he's out and he get he away from the camera, this. Tiger. Yep, that's two... Does the split uh, get them? No, I'm calling Chloe's. Gets Chloe's that way and then comes back that way. Oh, yeah. But he needs to stay. That's a That's big the ball. Problem. That was a big ball. Pitsy. Imagine if... Uh, see, that, that GK first ball was massively important. He nails that, puts the pressure right on. Yeah, it's looking like it's a bit of a question now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, this is not looking pretty. Yeah, so that split, but it, to get the other blue, to get Billy's blue, you'd, I'm thinking Chloe's. Chloe's that way to get the other white as well. But he needs to be quite firm to get Chloe's on the other two, but he needs to hang around. So that's why it's looking tricky. Mm. Yeah, he can't get really through anything on the jack, can he? So I wonder if he gets, yeah, see, so he's pulling to that ball now. Mm. Whether he gets through Chloe's onto the split, like edges out the white onto the split. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's time to. Calling the old eight ball big dog, just <laughs> hit and hope, mate. Hit and hope. Just That's it. Go straight That's at Chloe's it. and cross That's your fingers. It. You can look and talk all day, but it's um, <laughs> it's a tough shot either way. Pitsy played a good one. He was probably a little bit unlucky, if anything. Uh, sort of still a couple down, but he's put it in a spot where it's made it extremely hard. So he had to miss out. Gary had an opportunity to draw for the draw. Big day. It's early morning. Gary Schultz says tasty times. Poison, poison, tasty fish. Someone's trying to ring me. Oh, kitchen. Still uh, wind yeah, it up. No worries, mate. They're yeah, just playing the last ball now, and then I'll never start heading in. So Bucks has called the yellow and green yeah, through. Just out. To give themselves a chance. Hmm. I don't think they've got much other option. They've got to, you've got to get through that in his back end. There's a couple of opportunities there for things to go his way. I. Mm. He's, he's called the five. Well, he gets through that yellow and green, like you said, and he gets the edge of that white, and it gets on through the split. There is a chance of that happening. Yep. But Jesus. You'd be able to hear <laughs> Al Jess's draw hit the ground uh, he plays this. You'll be hearing him from Ireland, I tell you. Yep. That's good. There we go. We're back. If any of the players are listening, your lunch is ready. You're able to go help yourself. Ron Wilson says, if there's one bloke on the green who could do this, it's Gary. And I don't think anyone will argue with you, mate. Steve Merrill says, shock lock. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you, you just wander out in the green and tell him it's timed out, mate. Yep. Sorry, sorry, Gary, you can't play this, buddy. 
Here we go. Here we go. To keep his club alive for this season or to come in and enjoy a couple of beers with us. <laughs> GK. Might have to get him in the commentary if this doesn't go well. Hurry. He's going for a split now. It's not going to be good enough. Is that three, is it? Is that three? I don't know. Oh, they're having a close look. One, two. Oh. No, we're going to have a look. Uh, Al, Al just to look like that. Just might be hanging on to the win here. He's, Gary Kelly's give us a four. Oh. oh no! We could be seeing Come an extra end. What's going on? We could be seeing an extra end here. <laughs> nah, nah. That blue ball's got to be closer. Kitchen's not going to be happy. That blue ball's got to be closer. Lunch is ready, don't these blokes know? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Alrighty. What's going on? The front one I can believe, but the one, the other one That's I in. can't. That's in. That's so in. This is the one That's I think is the closest. Yeah, this one. is the one. Everyone, there is. You could hear a mouse. Ch chomping on a piece of cheese out there at I don't the think moment. I don't think he's in. I don't doesn't think he's look in. in. Nah, nah. Gary's nah, watching nah, nah. closely. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He's oh, imagine being the umpire and getting called now. Oh, no. Nah. Umpire. Umpire. That one's in. Oh. Umpire. Umpire. Oh, well, if you're nah. in there for the umpire, you're every <laughs> chance if the umpire comes. Oh, no, 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 no. My no, no. day. I'm, I'm back on the Al Jesser ball there. He's played it pretty well. Like he, At the end of the day, he, he played a pretty good ball to get the split on, run through, and stay. Mm. Yep, kept them alive, possibly. Whew. Here you go, Peter Bryant. Got the crowd watching. If you're just turning that ball over when you're being a tweed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm, here we go. Uh, you don't have a job if you don't give them to the tweed here, mate. 200 people watching uh, you, Pete. Yeah. You got no, this, is, no, this, is our, this is our umpire, this one. Oh, it's this, this is not the it's tweed. Oh, he's playing oh, it safe. He's playing, he's playing yeah, it very safe. Good. Very good. Just in case he bumps it. <laughs> it's got to be the All-Stars ball here, for sure. Oh, he's moved that jack a little bit. He's moved that jack a little bit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's dead heat. Oh, no, he's, 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 twisting he's screwing it. this out here. It's dead heat, if it's a dead heat, uh, that's enough for El Jester. A dead heat is enough, because that means it's a score of three. Oh, my... Goodness. What? What's... Oh, he's picked the jack up. Oh. Oh, he's dead heat. Oh. Oh, dead heat. Oh, no. Wenger's going to be blown up. <laughs> no, that means that Al just to get through. He's just picked the jack up, Carl. Well, what do you do? You umpire, you've made your decision. Oh, my God. Wow. That was unbelievable, that. Oh. I've not seen that for a long time. Yeah, that is unreal. Three. Lights, yep. Dead heat. Oh, my goodness. That is Wow. Yep. Yeah, so I'll just get up by one. Yep. My God. <laughs> I'm just speechless. Se like, my God. I got speechless. 72. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'll leave you to close out, Dojo. No, I know the lunch is ready. I'll be, I'll be having, I don't know, like picking up the jack. I'd be having a couple more looks at that just to be sure, to be sure. The game and the season and coin is on the line for that one. Oh, my goodness. What a finish to the game. Tweet heads will not be happy. As you can see, blowing up in the middle there. Um, great game of bowls, though. 72-71. The All-Stars get through. And the Ospreys will be home for the day. Um, yeah, big GK would be pumped about that. But what a fantastic game of bowls. What a finish. Would hopefully um, every game finishes something around those those lines where it gets down to that. 
Um, yeah, Robert Day. He didn't take many goes at it. Our Penanumpo would have double checked that. Well, he went to that first ball first, went, went back and went back again. So he's the umpire. He makes the call. Um, a dead heat, though, on that much distance. Whew. It is possible, but it's a big call to make in this context of that one. Some of the laser level might would have um, made a bit of a difference with that one. But that's the call that's been made. Congratulations to the All-Stars. They've gotten through by one shot over the Ospreys. And uh, that's how it goes. <laughs> Big D, yeah. Well, that's what I'm just saying, mate. Why not use a laser to be sure? Or um, surely that warranted to be double-checked before picking up the jack. Absolutely. I would have picked up the jack twice. There you go. Long balls to use. My special's on. Bowls from 589. Superman. Bags from 135. Great deals there from Long Balls to You. Shoes from 125. That's a great deal. So jump on Long Balls to You. There's the mobile number down the bottom there. <laughs> Hit them up on the email. One of uh, the naming rights sponsors for the Premier League this year. Long Balls to You. And do a fantastic job at selling bowls all around the country and all over the world. So jump on. Our next game is scheduled to start at. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Just to make sure. Yeah, it'll be the Pine Rivers Pirates up against the Mighty Bulls to see who goes through the grand final in the top grade. So tune in for that one. Should be a great game. And uh, <laughs> Ryan Bennett will be playing Ryan Bester on the live stream. There you go. Burner against Bester. Ex, ex Broad Beach Bull. And uh, they will have uh, Al Jester on the background will be playing against... Uh, Burley Heads in the top grade. The Hawks in the Reggies will go through and play Pine Rivers in the Reggies. Um, and Burley will play Back Tweed to, to see who goes into the grand final. What an unbelievable way to finish the game. Well done. Congratulations to all the teams and players again. Massive crowd. Get down to the uh, Musgrave Hill because uh, the crowd is huge and the atmosphere is fantastic. So uh, unbelievable way to finish the game. I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Thanks to our sponsors, of course, Long Balls to You, BCIB, Paradise Point, Smith & Co, and, of course, the home of the, of the Premier League Finals, Club Musgrave. All right, that's it from us. Um, look forward to the game at 5 o'clock. Should be a banger. Um, stay tuned and uh, jump back in at 5 o'clock, and uh, it's going to be a massive one. Another great game coming up. Thanks for, thanks for watching.